my people my peeping ears dude we got an artist there's a couple artists that reached out to me on email and i haven't got a chance to uh, get back to you haven't even look at all your stuff i've been getting like a lot of emails that are like important i want to get back to you that i star but i am actually working with one that we exchange information and she started dude you're gonna love it the peeping ears we're, we're, we're working on it. It should be done soon. So, well, she's working on it. Well, she's taking some of my ideas of what I want, but she, dude, I think she's got the style down. Um, and if there's anybody else, cause I saw there was a couple other emails that looked like it was going to be artists. So I haven't got to yours yet. So if you, if there are, if you're out there and you're like, wait, I had some stuff too. I will get to it. Cause I need, you know, the more, the merrier, the more, uh, merch designs and stuff. I just know I'm working with one already that's it's I really like it. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Uh peeping ears, the peeping ears, and then I could go to a spread shop and we could at least have either one or two uh, tie dyes. I know they for sure have one. I don't know why I'm I have in my head that they might have two tie dye options. But uh yeah, so I'm excited. It's really cool, colorful and stuff. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually really excited about that one because <laughs> it's like, it, it's going to make me laugh when I see it. Like all, here's the thing. Oh, here's the thing. But all of us, it means something to all of us. You know what I'm saying? It's like an inside joke between all of us. <laughs> so it's kind of cool if you think about it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So she said she, she's, she's actually doing it quick, dude. She's already got like, it almost done basically. I mean, she's really working quick. So, um. I don't think it'll be that long. It just depends on how long it takes me to get it on the spread shop and stuff. And then, yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, I've been wanting a new uh, freaking merch, like a fresh merch thing forever. Uh, you guys, I know I've seen a lot of questions. I don't know the answer to all these questions. I did answer the question about Jojo. I think I did. So as far as Jojo, from what I know, you know, I only know so much. And the only way I know this is for me to ask her because I don't have any connection to them. So when I'm giving you um, information, it's relaying for what she said. So, I mean, if you guys don't believe her, whatever you, however you want to take it, I'm just relaying. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. So she said that, yeah, she, he does still talk to Jojo. I don't know about Randy. He He's not allowed to get that many calls. So you know how he's like allowed to call whenever while he was in jail. Now he could go weeks or a month or, you know, he could go a long time without being able to even use the phone. But I do know on his birthday, he was able to use the phone because he did call her on his birthday. And then he did say he was calling Jojo on his birthday. So he does still talk to Jojo because that was just yesterday or the 10th. So he definitely still talks to Jojo. I don't know about Randy. I don't know. I could ask her if she knows, but just don't shoot the messenger here. You guys want to know. That's the only way we could find out stuff, you know? Because I don't talk to Jojo or Randy, like I don't know, and I don't talk to Paul, so the only way I can know anything is from what she tells me. Um, so yeah, but yeah, so I know he at least he does, he did call Jojo on his birthday the other day, so yeah, but uh, no, I think he's still, I don't know, she didn't say, I forgot to ask, I didn't even spe ask to specify, I don't know. I was just assuming he was still in the same spot, but I don't know. Is he still coming up on the Eagler? Did you guys look it up? Here, let me look up the uh, in inmate search real quick and see if it's still coming up. I know that mem I know that uh, the mug shot went away, and I don't know why. Let's see if it's what happens now. I haven't looked it up since that day. Of course, the system could be behind, so he could have he could be there now, and then they just didn't update the system. That's a very good point. I don't. It says he's still there at Eagler. Oh, it's it's back. Look, no, he's still at Eagler. I mean, it says that, so it his picture's back. Dude, that's so weird because remember his his picture went down at on his birthday, basically. Somebody said something like, wonder if they're giving him like a birthday mug shirt or something. That's like I don't but it's back up. There it is. I'm about to screen here. Let me save it just so I have it. <laughs> now I have it um in case if they take it down again but yeah there it is okay it wasn't there the other day but it's back up um gosh i have too many coffees everywhere all right guys so we have part this is part four so how i labeled it is part three was so part one and two that were the members which they're all public now nothing's members so no 
no complaints. Everything is public now. Um, so one and two is the, the members that were members first and then became public. The part three was the first chunk of the live because the way I'm doing it the way I'm editing it. And that was another, I'm like edited a video for that first like hour and a half to two hours of my live. That was part one or that was part three. I'm sorry. And then remember I said, if I have time after we'll watch part one. So I did part three and then we watched part one after. So part, there's three parts out basically. I th Just the part three isn't actually up for pre-record yet. It's the only difference. I don't have a pre-record of part three. It's on the live and same with part four. I don't have a pre-record of it up yet. It's right in here. Okay. It'll be right this one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I got too much stuff over here. Hold on a second. Oh, hold on. Let me, the art, the artist was like, are you, hold on a second. Let me respond to her. The person doing the art, the uh, merch. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, oh, it's so, uh, that one mugshot here. Look that so they found it. The one that, um, I was talking about Shonda that I never saw that just came up. Like it was like recently, maybe in the last week or two, it, it started popping up and I was like, where did they get it from? Because I've been all focused on polls, so I haven't been looking much into Shonda's. I just want to see if it... No, it's still... I wonder where that came from. Well, people sent it to me, and it was the one I was thinking of. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about really quick. At least I never saw it. Now, remember, you guys might be like, I saw it, but was it within the last week that you saw it? Because I saw it, too, within the last week. I still don't know where it came from, but I want to show you what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> Shonda Mugshot. Oh, wait. That's all blurry. Hold on. I'm trying to get... How's everybody doing though? Thanks for coming. So there's definitely... These calls are definitely interesting. They're... Oh, well, of course. You know, when they, <laughs> they're talking about me, it's like... So they talk about me a lot in these. And I'm glad I, I want to explain some... Give some context of what that's all about. Because I'll give you guys time to come in anyway. So just give me a minute. Since I don't have an intro video <laughs> like most people do. Well, I guess not. Maybe most. I've had them. Um, I just get bored. Like I'll, ha I'll like make intros and then I get bored and I don't want. I use them maybe here and there, and it's like I don't want to use them every time. <laughs> I'm weird. It's my OCD. I think. Thanks, Kate. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really feel like I am a victim. Um, yeah, no. But thank you, Jen. Is Randall and JoJo still around? Did Jenny lie about being? I don't know. I mean, I just know what she said. Like, I have no way to uh, confirm that or deny that. So, I mean, I have, that's just what she said. I don't know. If you have a way to look, if you have, if somebody has a way to look into that, verify that, go for it. Let me know. I don't know. I don't know a way to be able to tell who filed it. But, uh, I, like I said, I know Jojo, yes, because he called her on his birthday. Randy, Randall, I don't know. Um, did you verify what Jenny told you? No, I didn't. I don't know how to verify it. If, I, if there was a way, I wish, you know, I'm not going to call the lawyer. I've already put so much time and I don't have time. I'm just so busy. I don't feel like calling the lawyer and see. I don't even think he would tell me. But you guys can. Like, I, I passed the torch, guys. Because <laughs> I am I think this might be the last one. I, I just don't have time to go through all of these calls and in, in the... In the um, the output or whatever that I'm getting from, it's not even worth it. Like, I'm getting more hate from it. So, I think I might just... Since you guys said other people have them anyway, I might just cut it off and let them take over because it is exhausting. And I want to look into other cases and, you know, and it's just like, it just seems like it's just bringing me more negativity rather than, you know, helping anybody. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just actually get, I don't know. Yeah. So this might be my last one, guys. Mia, thank you. If you need a hand behind the scenes, please let me know. Yes, I, I really could, but... I've tried, I've tried to get help from like viewers and it just seems to never work out because I'm not a good manager. I can't, <laughs> I, that's why I don't, I can't tell people what I want. It's like, it's hard for me, you know, to be like somebody's boss or be like, yes, I need out. But I mean, maybe it, email me Stella. Thank you. Yay. You joined. I admit it. I would suck as a manager. I've never been a manager in my life in anything, but because that is not my qualities. I cannot tell people what to do. I can't ask. Them. Like that is not like, I'd be like, wait, I don't know. Wait, are you mad? Like I would suck. So people, yeah, I know my limits. Um, but I, you know, I have to almost like have to 
I might have to just do it because I do need help, like majorly. Uh, Jamie, thank you. But I get a little bit of help. Some mods, Stacy helps me. Wolfpacks help me a little bit. Um, but I wish, here's the thing, which I wish I had at my own place. If I had my own place, I would find somebody local, have them come in to my house to work with me, and I pay them hourly. I would love to be able to do that because then they could be right there with me. We'd have like our own little studio, and then they know what I want when they work like an hourly wage. I would love to do that. Dude, I wish, but I can't just my grandma like even if I would feel like good enough to do it like with because I don't really have my own space come up to my bedroom you know but uh my grandma I mean she would probably hound that it would just be it I don't think it would be doable but I would love to be able to do that that's if I moved out I would 100% thank you AJM say like and subscribe <laughs> thank you no uh like and subscribe yeah I'm not good at that whole thing but hopefully you guys could like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Michelle. I love you and your channel. Keep with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. I looked into the Sebastian case a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of other stuff going on in true crime that could definitely, uh, we could definitely get dig our, dig our minds into. So that might be a good option for me, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I would just do it all myself. Yes, but because I, I wouldn't, I would feel like bad to tell somebody, or let's say they're doing it wrong. Like I'd be like, well, I don't know, maybe if you wanted, to, I know my, I'm just not that, I'm not a manager type, a boss type, I'm not. That's why this job is perfect for me because if not, I would be working some job that I'd be busting my butt, never be able to be a manager or anything because I couldn't do that, um, and I would be underpaid, busted my butt. I can never be able to move up because I would not that those wouldn't be my skills or anything like managing anybody. So it's, this is like perfect, you know. Uh, is your name on cash? Yeah, it is actually. It's in my description. I think it's in. It should I think I put it in the default under my descriptions? It should be. It's in the descriptions. I put it on the default. It is uh Zav girl. You know how you do like HTTP blah 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 money and the money symbol Zav girl. That's how the cash app is. So, yeah, I do have that. All right. So, you guys ready? Are you ready? Yes, I want to. I want to. Yes. And I also want to do a current one. I was watching Nancy Grace, the Sebastian interview with uh, Sebastian's mom and stepdad. Dude, I love her. Why do I love Nancy Grace? Like, <laughs> she was, was, like, so dramatic and so, like... You know when that one podcaster came, started coming on and talking and she like cut her off and was like very rude. But like, I can't describe it because it's not like I like rude people, but just she has like, it's her. So she's a lot of, and she just makes me laugh because she's so freaking dramatic. And it's like, I can't explain it, but something about her just is entertaining to watch. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd be her friend. I'd be kind of like on tippy toes being her friend. But you got to admit that girl, that lady is entertaining as crap. Oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah, she could. She's hilarious, dude. Like, I need to watch more of her. I've watched her here and there throughout, you know, true crime. But um, I was always afraid that she'd be one that would copyright. But from watching her stick up for us YouTubers on that interview, I was like, you know what? I don't think she copyright. Because I thought like big name like Dr. Phil copyright me. You know, like big names like that. I thought, oh, I'm not going to use their stuff because they're like, you know, they copyright. But I don't think she would. So I think I, I think I want to start using her stuff. Because what she said about YouTube and, and stuff and the community, she wants it shared. She wants to see everything. So she would, I'm sure she'd want her stuff shared. So I, I feel more comfortable using her stuff after seeing that. Because she's freaking hilarious, dude. I do. She's awesome. Um, all right. So, like I said, I don't know if I'd be her friend. It might be intimidating, but like to watch her, it's <laughs> um. Yeah, that's the thing. She's like allowed to be rude or something. All right, let me share my screen. My lip is burning for some reason. Huh. <laughs> I, s I have no filter, guys. I swear. Yeah. Oh, Sarah, you're the one. 
So here's the one that's uh doing the art. Well, I knew your name. I don't know why I said it like that, but I, I met there you are in the chat. Here's uh she yes, she's the one that's doing the uh peeping ears, guys. Sarah Flynn. Shout out Sarah Flynn. <laughs> um oh Penny is that Jamie, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Wait, where did I miss a new member? Thank you. Did I did I, did I miss to call you out? I don't see it popping up, but maybe I missed when it popped up originally because I see you are a member. So thank you. Welcome. All right. Are you guys ready? I know we're getting it. We're getting it. <laughs> sometimes it is, it's even better to let people all come in first because then they don't have to rewind. So sometimes there's a reason behind the madness of people, you know, creators waiting a little bit before they show something. Because then they don't have as many questions, you know, because people are already in. Let me get the video up. I'm going to have to do it for my editor because I didn't have time to export it or anything. But I could probably, plus, and it's easier to, to move around. Last time I uploaded it to the YouTube and then did the, I don't know. Because <laughs> I share too much. You don't need to know all the details. Oh, my Lord. I know. Uh, but that's why sometimes it makes me uh, mad when people are like, Talking about like I don't share. I'm like, no, I share way more than any creator, like too much. <laughs> I need to shut my mouth sometimes. Some things that don't need to be said. Just do my job, you know? Okay. Here is that the 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 mugshot I was talking about, but there this one's really blurry. There's a really clear one, and I just can't find it. But I hadn't seen it until like last week. And then I thought I was like, wow, I haven't seen that one. But maybe you guys did. I don't know. The music that's added, it's not for feel. You know, usually I, I'm, I spend so much time picking out music if I do tributes or whatever, and it's meaningful, and I, I mean to pick the music I, I get. But for this, it's for just to have a background because everybody was trying to say I was stealing it from other people. So I was like, okay, well, we'll see who's taking it from me, which is fine. I don't care. I want to share it with everybody. You know how I am. I just don't want to be accused of it. So... I just kind of wanted to prove a point. But um, so this, somebody's like, are you trying to make it like romantic? No, these are just instrumental copyright free songs that I have. There's no meaning or met, met reason for the songs I picked. It's just to like have like a marker. You know what I'm saying? So no, I'm not trying to like invoke a certain feeling at all. It's just the instrumental ones. I don't, this is what I got to work with here. So <laughs> anyway, all right. <laughs> Let's do this. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... Paul Ferguson. Hey, baby Hi. Call. <laughs> Hi. I'm glad that I got a big chunk of people right there, because it's like once I get to rest, I mean, that's it. I can take you in the kitchen with me when I have to wash something. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'd love to be with you on the phone all night. You know, but I'd rather you be here with me in my arms, but, you know. So... They were just handing out medication, and normally they have, when top tier is out, they have a stay by our doors. But I literally okay. won't. Track. I put some videos real quick. The post sentence calls, yet yeah, most of them are. Because remember, this is just the week. And I'm going to explain a little bit more as we get to parts in the calls, because there's some explanation with stuff she says that's... She's just not portraying things accurately from like conversations we had and different things. But I, I thought I'd wait till we got to him in the calls. But um, so these are all post sentence. It's like that week after the sentence, obviously. And no, yeah, there's a few calls with I think there might be one or two more with Randall, which I'll get to. It's just I'm trying to go through them all. Maybe one or two more, three more with JoJo. But, you know, JoJo's are a lot of the anime talk. But most of them are with the fiance. Yes. Basically, walked down and went over to the phone and called. It took me a moment to realize, oh shit, I could get, probably get in trouble. But yep, I was lucky. Was, uh, the guard Hellman was on, was the one doing this. Anybody else? Are you sure you're not to get in trouble? Been, you know, I'm pretty sure he would have said something of something from the beginning if I was going to get in trouble, baby girl. <laughs> I don't want to get you in trouble now. No, you're all right, baby girl. Sorry, I am going to stop this because if I have a question, you guys, and you, I'm sure you want me to answer. No, not one single call to uh, his brother, stepmother, nothing. Now, the way with the, the like, I feel like 
you know, when I requested all the pre-sentence calls, obviously I didn't get them all. They, I don't know, I don't know how they pick which ones I get, but obviously that couldn't have been like a year and a half worth of calls that we play. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how they pick. I have no control. I don't know how they go in and pick which ones they're going to send. So I don't, it wasn't that he didn't talk to them because the fiance even said he did talk to them, but I wonder if they kept it in the video calls or whatever, because they saw that these were becoming public and they were, they didn't want to answer. Cause he does mention um, in a call with the fiance once that, that he, Nolan wasn't picking up the calls or they weren't picking up his calls or whatever. So I'm wondering if, because they didn't want him to be public, they knew after that. So they're like, I'm not going to answer the calls, but he was talking to him somehow. I don't know, but I don't have one single call with his family. So Yeah. What do you mean vetted who? Obviously she's is the fiance, so the you know, I think that speaks for itself. The calls? <laughs> I mean right now and before that she sent me those texts that she let me sh remember we shared them at the when I I'm the one they announced about the fiance, which we're I'm going to talk into more of the timeline of that when we get into the part that she talks about it. But uh I don't know if you remember about a month ago or so I am the one that came out and said he was had a fiance and I was talking to her trying to get an interview. So I never hid any of this stuff from you. Some people just didn't see all my videos. So I know some people are like, why you never told us you were talking to her or whatever. And yeah, I did. And then you guys are like, yeah, we'll get the interview. And I said, okay, she, she said she might do an interview. Depends on how everybody is in the comments. I don't, yeah, hopefully you guys remember that. And I was like, she's the fiance. It was like on a Saturday. I think I announced it. So, um, and the reason I, how I vetted that is the text messages. They said Paul and she had him and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm sure that's legit. And now this is even more vetted. We hear her on the phone calls. Um, so yeah. All right. I'm thinking about like doing like some kind of like seance thing or something in those rooms. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it makes you feel better. I do know a few. Just one more time. Verified as in the, the only thing that I said is, he was the fiance. So verified her as in her being his fiance. That's how I did it. Cause all that, all that I'm saying is her and Paul are planning on getting married. So I vetted her by seeing the text of Paul saying, my, you're my fiance. And also now the calls are vetting her even more. I know what that means, but I'm just saying that's all I've ever said. You know what I'm saying? That he's the fiance. So yeah, I vetted that information's accurate. They're, they're planning on getting married. Anyway, all right, I'll stop. I'm sorry, I keep seeing more questions. Minor and major <laughs> ways to, you know, get rid of ghosts. Apparently, the paranormal don't like when you uh, go to bed with your shoes pointing two different directions. Really? Like, yeah, like, I guess if you, like, have your heels, the heels of your shoes together and the toes pointing two completely different directions. Really? That's yeah. really interesting. I've never I had a boy's book of survival when I was younger, so... Oh. And if they're, you know, hiding in the corner, if the spirits are hiding in corners, all you got to do is, if you can't, you know, convince them to move on, as some uh -huh. people say, just go over with a candle held high and a bell in the other hand and you know, walk over <laughs> to the corner and ring the bell. Scare them out of scare them away. Do you ever feel like you've seen your brother? No. Or, or that he's come to you or anything? No. No? Would it scare you? Probably, yeah. Yeah? Do ghosts in general scare you, or that just that would scare you? That would probably scare me more than any ghost would. Yeah? Granted, I don't do a lot of horror. I could not even watch my uh, friends who like to play Five Nights at Freddy's, much less play it myself. I'm very standoffish, actually. I am. I'm very standoffish with them. Even when I was, before I was with you, because I was at that place that I told you where I just was done. I was just like, I'm not yeah. trying anymore. So even at that point, before me and you started talking, I was already like that. Like, I was already kind of just like, like there was this guy, I'll give you a perfect example, okay? Um, you know, I had a lot of friends when I was younger that I used to party with and all that kind of stuff way back when. And um, so, yeah, I used to like, you know, have like my group of friends. I never was like one to like hang out with one like click. Like, I was friends with whoever was nice to me. That's how I was. Um, it wasn't like, I didn't like, you know, like, say, oh, I want to hang out with the popular kids. I want to hang out with this group of kids. It was just really whoever was cool with me, I was cool with. Um, so, like, I was, like, popular in my own right, but popular in the sense of, 
just known to be friends with everyone. So, um, so yeah, so basically, um, what was the thing? So yeah, when I was in high school, I was not like a, uh, like a snobby type of girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was always super nice to whoever, like I would be the one. Okay. Perfect example. Like I had study hall and there was this boy and he oh. was totally, I mean, people would like really brutally like bully him. Okay. Oh, I mean, that's horrible. I felt horrible and he never stuck up for himself. Like he would go and get his lunch tray and like the stupid jock boys would like just go up to him and like throw his tray and like, like it was horrible. Super oh, horrible, right? But, I know. So, what I did was, um, I remember one day, I was in like 10th grade movie, and he was in my study hall. Okay. And... <laughs> Wait a minute, do I really... Hold on, you guys, that made me laugh. This made me laugh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, duh! We don't get... These aren't video calls. Let me... Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be mean. Because that's just going to start... I, I just could see that. Zav getting tricked thinking <laughs> these are video calls. These aren't video calls, they're phone calls. It's just audio. I just added some visuals so we have something to look at. Just like all my other calls. None of them are the video calls. I don't I didn't get the video calls. So <laughs> yeah, these are his TikToks and stuff. I think most of us know that, but I'm sorry. I don't mean to be mean. <laughs> That's just made me laugh because I, I I hope most of please tell most of us knew that I'm not trying to like trick you and like ooh ha ha these are <laughs> all right sorry I had to laugh like I went up to him because oh. I knew him since like elementary school and I was just like how you doing and like this kid was like just so like I guess like I don't know from getting bullied so much like I don't think he trusted anyone. And, um, but it was so important for me. And then there was this girl that was like one day, this, these popular girls started bullying her. And oh my God, I have lost my mind. And this girl, cause she was mentally disabled. She started hugging me and all this stuff because people, but yeah, I just became this tough girl because I got jumped in ninth grade and got really fucked up by this girl. And, um, she accused me of wanting her man, which, Back then, I don't. I wouldn't have even talked to anybody. I was so shy. Um, but like, yeah, she jumped me, and after that, I was like, you know what? Nobody's gonna ever put their hands on me again. So that's really, I think, how. And I also became tough because it was easier for me to be angry than to be sad. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do I you? get that much. It was. It's when my temper brewed. I never physically struck out. Even if someone struck first. Yeah. Normally, you know, I walk away steaming mad. Yeah. But I remember one point in middle school, I was sitting with some of my friends. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the only friends at that point I really had were females. But anyway, the <laughs> more important no, topic is what's, what happened. This guy comes over and starts just talking all sorts of crap to me for I don't even know what reason. Hey, baby. Hey. I did that as fast as I could. <laughs> you said what? I did that as fast as I could. Yeah. Like, super speedy. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just, what? what do you sound sad? There's this, I don't really know. <laughs> Sometimes I get these moods that I don't even understand. I'm not, I promise you I'm not upset at you or anything. You know, I tell you if that was what it was. I'm not upset with you, girl. All right, well, I, I, I guess part of it is just that I would have been really, really upset if it suddenly said, uh, whole, you have one minute before we actually even got to talk again. Uh, I know. I hate, I wish so. I could. Well, that's why I want to get there as soon as possible. Why do you I think I want to get to you? I and, know. you know, I want to get there. Like I said, even if I can't I mean, even if, like, you're there, you know, where you're at, I mean, at least if I'm there, like, near you, I can come see you when I'm not working, you know? Yeah. And I, I would work nice if I had to, just to make sure that I can see you as many times as I can. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I, I want you to, like, does it bother you, like, to hear me talking to people and stuff? No, not at all. Okay. You when, just sound... Uh, to... you get, you'll have time, you'll have time. Before. Yeah, I'm going to actually take a step outside with you. How's that sound, baby? You, I feel like you sound girl. sad. I'm okay. I feel like, are you lying? Are you sure? You're okay? I'm okay, baby girl. 
you know that I would tell you if I was upset? I you know you just sound. It's not like you just sound like matter and you just sound like you're like just kind of like depressed. Maybe that I don't know. Maybe not depressed. Maybe just yeah, depressed. You sound depressed. I'm, you I'm have okay. one minute left. There it is. Oh. What is? What were you gonna say? I said I was saying I'm okay, but then it the uh, you have know, one minute left thing. I really yeah, am. So. Okay, you just sound really sad, and I want to make you always happy. Yeah. And I know okay, I can. I but... promise. Well, I know you have a cold too. I can hear it. You sound like you're yeah. needed. You know. Uh, I don't even know how I fell asleep last night with my nose how it is. That's the one thing I hate is when I can't breathe through my nose. Yeah. Um, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. You know. I'm not sure whether or not you heard that guy just sneeze in here. Jeez. But anywho, did you ever get COVID? Not that I know of. It's probably about to cut us off. So as soon as it does, I'll call you back. Though. Oh, that's right. I forgot we're getting cut off. Jesus Christ! I hate that. That's why I'm going to step out. Thank you, you for using security. All right. Goodbye. Go Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from. Hi. Hi, babe. But now you've got me, babe. I'm on the phone with you all night. I only got. Two hours and twenty minutes left. You? Yeah. Well. Hey, talk to me. You sound really sad. What's going on? No, I'm all right. I didn't mean to sound sad. Just, I guess, I hate it when. No, I wouldn't say the fact that you know you had to go take care of her because, of course, I want you to take care of her. I just, it sucks that sometimes at the moment, you know, you have to pause when we're talking to take care of customers. I know, I hate it. You think I want to be here? I'd rather be in Michigan with you, you know? Yeah. I'm just waiting for you to tell me to come. That's it. Once you tell me, I'm out. You know? So, and like I said, but I read the... If I could wow. to say for you to get your butt on a plane by tomorrow, <laughs> you know, I would, but I don't want you to have to have a single... Or have to, have to try to find a place when you don't even know where it's going to be uh, set up. So. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know. I know, baby girl. I know. I wish that like we could just have like a normal life together. Yeah. yeah. Me too. But once once I'm out of prison and everything's been finished, we can. Okay, baby girl. We gotta get this changed. It can't be what, what it could be. We can't. I'm not gonna accept that. I'm not gonna believe it. Um, yeah. I'm just, I can't. I can't, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Yeah, I can't you, either. No. That God would After be everything cool. I did to make sure that Shonda was, well, that she never saw the light of day again outside of a prison wall, you'd think they would have at least had some leniency. You don't know how upset it makes me. See, I try not to let you know how much it upsets me. He's taking credit. I did a sh I did a couple of shorts because I've been trying to do highlights. You know, because a lot of people, some people don't want to watch the whole thing. Some I've had uh, comments were like, I wish they just had a highlights or whatever. So I'm trying to do some like highlights, things that are really relevant to the case that I feel like are important. So I did do a highlight. There's a couple other ones I got to do on this. But he says that basically that they should offer him leniency because he's the reason why that. Shonda's behind bars or whatever, which we've already talked about that. That is not accurate. Um, but I do think he's getting that from the prosecutor. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's probably, they're probably saying good, you know, thanks for helping out or something. But I mean, no, that case would have been strong either way. And if he would have went to trial, I don't know what it would happen if he went to trial. I mean, you, you just never know. Look at freaking, um, what's her name? Uh, Anthony. I, I mean, you would think that it would be enough, but uh, I would think, but, um, so yeah, definitely they had those text messages were enough mixed with the environment, the crime scene that, the um, what they saw, the freaking cameras, those were more than enough. They did not need his testimony. Um, I disagree. Because I don't want to bring you down and that's the truth. Um, yeah. You know, I keep a lot of that part of me, you know, away from you because I don't want to make it worse than what it is. Um, 
but it's like, I mean, every once in a while I'll have like a little freak out moment. Like when I told you, like I had that feeling in my chest or whatever. And, you know, it, but it, it's like, I feel like we just Me can't too. accept that that's what it's going to be. And that's I, I won't it accept be. it. I won't. We can't. We can't. Because Why would I? Why should I? Well, exactly. And that's why I'm so angry that your attorney hasn't been working on this since the day that they came with your verdict. I'm so yep. fucking pissed. And um, if I would have, if I had twenty thousand, that guy that was confident that he would change it for you, you think I would have handed him twenty thousand in a second? Yeah. And get you the best attorney. And I'm still going to attempt to when I'm off from work. You know, this week I'm going to definitely when you can't talk because I'm always on with you when you can, but when you can't, I'm going to do everything I can because I. This is why this is why I don't have faith in God a lot of times because how can I meet someone that is so perfect for me? And then yeah. have this situation. Like it's like what the fuck. But at the same at the same time though, it's like is it some sort of crystal lesson because had this not happened I may have never met you. Like I don't you know what I mean? It's it's weird. Yeah. It's so weird. But I just don't feel like I I was really, really shocked. Like I mean just and and I get really upset sometimes and I don't tell you about it because I yeah. Like when I'm talking to you, it's like everything else is just gone. And yeah. um, thank you, Jamie. When we talk about laying together and just being together, it's like I just want that so bad, and I wish that I know. you know, Whoa. you know, you talk Whoa. to me, you know <laughs> that so what they say about oh me is true type feel. Yeah, uh, I get that but exactly. Yeah, I and suppose for right now uh, we should still be cautious. Yeah, you know, yes. I don't want to do if, anything for it. If it comes yeah. to it, yeah, we may have to try and use the media to our advantage but hopefully well, if we're down to week to one if we're down to one week away from when you can have your appeal um yeah. i will call i don't uh, i don't have anything by that point like i said jojo and randy are looking into it but are they are they really like i don't know these people are they really doing it yes my brother finds them trustworthy and i might have to. for the most part you not included. I trust my brother's opinions. Like when I'm talking to you, it's like everything else is just gone. And, yeah. um, and when we talk about laying together and just being together, it's like I just want that so bad. And I wish that, I know. you know, Don't you know, you've to talked to me. me. You know that what they say about me is a true type deal. Yeah, I get that. But exactly. Yeah. I and suppose for right now, we should still be cautious. Yeah. You know, yes, I don't want to do if, anything for it. If it comes to and just being together, it's like I just want that so bad, and I wish that I know. you know. You know, you've talked to me. You know that what they say about me is a true type deal. Yeah, I get that. But exactly. Yeah. I and suppose for right now we should still be cautious. Yeah. You know. Yes, I don't want to do if, anything for it. If it comes yeah. to it, yeah, we may have to try and use the media to our advantage but hopefully well, if we're down to week to one if we're down to one week away from when you can have your appeal um yeah. i will call i don't uh, i don't have anything by that point like i said jojo and randy are looking into it but are they are they really like i don't know these people are they really doing it yes my brother finds them trustworthy and for the most part, you not included, I trust my brother's opinions. Yeah. With you, I trust my heart more than I trust his opinions. That just sucks. I wish that your brother didn't think that like I was out for something. I know, baby girl. But that sucks. Like, like, this whole I, situation has I... just put my family in tatters and everybody's on edge. I would just think that, like, I don't know, to, like, know, like, if it was my sibling, right? And they were in your situation, and they found someone on the outside that was willing to stay with them, even if the worst case scenario happens. I would feel so blessed. So I already know my tattoo. I'm getting You're right with your name. I already picked it out. I have to send it to you. But um, you're the only person on this planet probably that I trust at this point. That's the truth. I don't like trust people. I hope uh, soon I, I can replace. No. Uh, so yeah, Nolan doesn't. But remember, you guys remember this was over. I don't know what it's like now, but this was like a month. Now over a month ago. So remember, all that we're listening to is over a month ago. We're not able to get the prison calls. So um, none of this is recent. Because I have seen some comments where they think that 
when they hear it, that it's like a response into, under this, like what we're talking about, like, oh, well, she told, no, these are all from a month ago, over a month ago, um, the end of February. And so at that time, no, Nolan didn't trust her. He didn't know her. And he was just worried that, you know, so I don't know if what's going on now, if they, if he is now, since now that she isn't able to talk to Paul a lot because of, he doesn't really get to call out that much. So, but yeah, that's what's going on. So she's saying, you know, that, you know, no one's not trusting her. We know Jojo thought that I sent her originally, which I didn't meet her till after where she reached out, you know, threatening me and stuff. So, uh, yeah. That uh, bad feeling that you've gotten in your chest at times was a very, very good feeling for the girl. Once I'm near you, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You know, I mean, of course, I want us to be able to be normal. But if yeah. that doesn't happen, I'm still not going anywhere. <laughs> yep. I just hope that any parole I get, I can transfer out of state. Because like I said, it's just too painful to stay here in Michigan. Wait, I so I missed it on the last call on the last live. I wanted to make a comment on this part and I missed it. So I just wanted to see if you guys remember. I want to say what I wanted to say but that back then. So he's talking about how his body was so sore from working two jobs. It's like, oh, it's just, oh, what a toll. And she goes, she goes, oh, how long did you work two jobs? And he says, six months. I almost lost it. I'm like, that's it? Sick, wait, six months. You're thinking that working two jobs for six months took this biggest toll on your body? I was cracking up and I wanted to point that out. And I got, I got sidetracked a lot on the last live where I missed a lot of the stuff I wanted to say, but I was expecting him to say like, oh, five years, four, even a year. Or six, I mean, even a year wouldn't be that long, but six months. Yeah. That's why I asked you about when you said about moving into that year old house. Yeah. Was yeah. I was, I, I get very excited about the, you know, the future with you the, when I talk to you, baby girl. I know. I get excited, excited because I'm talking to you in general. Well, same here, same here. I think about everything we talk about, and I just want it to happen, and that's why I will refuse. Unless you dump me or whatever, like, I'm not, if we're down to, like, one or two weeks, I'm going to do whatever I have to do. I won't care. I'll go on yep. the media. I will do whatever. I'll tell you this. As long as you promise right here, right now, that you will tell me that you're going to, I have no problem with that, baby girl. If I was going to do that, I would discuss it with you what you would want me to even say. I mean, obviously, I have my own feelings within my heart, but I would that would be something we would talk about. I wouldn't just do it. I promise. I wouldn't. What makes me sick is that people, because I guess word is spreading quickly about me, um, it, what makes me sick is that people are, like, just getting off on this. Like, you know, like, first of all, what you and I share, um, you know, the little bit of normalcy that no, you can kind of feel, I guess, who well, I hope you feel from our relationship. I mean, I do. that's sacred to me. That's sacred. And it's yeah. precious. And, and please also remember these calls are not in order. I'm playing them as they came. They sent me the wrong call log. And plus, it, it's even if they did to be able, since there's so many, to try to put those in order. I mean, uh, but I don't even have the right one. So I wouldn't. it would be impossible for me to put them in order. But yeah, so these are not in order at all. <laughs> they're just however they came I don't, I don't know why they didn't just come in order but they don't so just keep that in mind too and it's, it's not for them to be looking at and trampling over like it's nothing to them exactly that's what and that's they see what it as nothing more than entertainment which is just pathetic well I'm sure somebody I'm sure people have looked me up on Facebook or something and they probably saw my pictures and they're just like oh you know whatever and um they they're curious. Like I said, if someone's nice to me, um, like I said, I, I, I refuse to talk about anything to do with anything to, with the case. But if someone is nice to me, like that girl, one girl, she asked me, she's like, is he like slow? Does he seem like off? And I'm like, no. I'm like, I love him with all my heart and he's the kindest, sweetest man I've ever, you know, spoken to and loved. And I well, because it's either play them not in order or don't play them or wait in, for a call log if they even end up sending it. You know what I'm saying? It's not poor editing. It's I don't. Do you know how many calls there are? Do you think I'm going to be able to figure out what order they go in without a call log? 
So do you just want me to turn it off? We won't watch any of them then, because we then we, we can't watch them, because I can't put those in order. <laughs> it's impossible to put them in order without a call log. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> That's funny. You're funny, Pam. I said all of that, I said, it's just rumors. I'm like, it's, it's all a bunch of BS. I said, he is not what people make him out to be, and it makes me so angry. I think the thing that makes me the angriest out of everything is hearing the consistency of people saying that you're a sociopath or, you know, whatever. And I don't see you that way. And if yeah. I'm wrong, then shame on me. But I don't see that. I don't. I don't see it at all. Um, I think that, you know, I don't know. I love you. you. No. I think that I think that there's probably stuff that you have. You, you have one that's left. How many people want me to play them? Put a one if you want me to play them. Or would you rather not? I just... <laughs> Since Pam said don't play them, how many want me to play them? Out, even order or no order, how many want? And thank you, Abellis, because I forgot we're supposed to just cater to one person all the time, and then when out when somebody else wants something different, then it's impossible. But most of you guys know that I'm just I'm mean, I'm in a little um what's that kind of mood? A little uh ornery mood today. <laughs> I, I like it though. It's fun once in a while. Oh, uh, but thank you, Abellus. I don't know. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I'll keep talking and you can call me back. Um, I think that you have stuff that's probably you're not even realizing that may come up into your mind or whatever. Um, like, do they give you any therapy? Um, some back in Oklahoma. But no, I mean, because of what happened. I mean, this oh, is serious. because of what happens? No, not really. But you are, you are a victim too. I'm sorry. But like, you should, I want no, you I mean, to have Yeah, like, I get that. I've been told that by a lot of people. It's loud. Or sorry. some people at this point. Not a lot, but some. Well, yeah, like, I just feel like, like, you're not getting, like, like, I even said before I ever knew I was going to speak with you. I know we're going to get disconnected in a second. Um, maybe I'll hold off on this part as well. And so we get disconnected. Um, but yeah, there's more that I want to say about that. So. Yep. Um, my phone Thank you for is using like Securus. Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from. A best baby. Hi. Um, I was trying to print this thing, and my computer is being stupid. I have to go lock computers down. It's so stupid. I, I don't mind working nice. nights. It was a bunch of little like tappable, like quick shortcuts on the keyboard. Maybe we should go to the haunted room together. <laughs> <You want to? laughs> So if something happens uh, to me, then at least you can be on the phone with me when I die. <laughs> oh, baby, don't <laughs> talk to me like that. Don't talk like that, baby. I would... oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, it'd be fun. You can go like on the adventure. Um, just try to print this stupid thing. Let's see if it'll print Maybe on Maybe when computer. I'm with there with you in person, in person. But so I can actually hold you if I get scared, baby. I don't do horror well. <laughs> Well, that's okay. You don't have to do horror well. I just, I love, um, like, I watch, like, I love, like, well, actually, I, that's not true. Recently, I don't watch anything because I don't have my place. We can be together. I want to come there. I'm waiting for you to tell me. I told you, all you have to say is, let's do this. That's, that's, that's our... Like okay. I said, I would I would be telling you right this minute, why the hell aren't you already on a plane if I knew where I was being transferred? I know, I know, it, and it, but it made me so excited when I saw that um, that if you were going to be staying there, that I would be able to see you as much as they offer, um, you know, but at the end, then again, you know, you're right, I mean, I know that, like, if you were to do that, if I was to come down there, I can't even move there because you don't know which one you're going to be at, if you know what I'm yeah, saying? Nope. So, that's what sucks, and um, I'm so worried, I'm going to be so worried, I'm like, I'll be happy because I'll know that you're going to be where we know you're going to be. But like at the same time, I'm going to also be nervous because I'm going to be so worried about you. I'm, I'm worried about you where you are right now. You know, I'm I know, you, worried. You don't have to worry about me, baby girl. The people in these pod is in this pod. They're, you know, laid back They're They don't cause problems. Yeah. But you have some guy yelling at you about talking to your quote unquote milk, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, asshole. <laughs> Not you, him. Yeah. But, um... I know. You know, um... Trust me, yeah. if I hadn't been that I was on the phone, if you had <laughs> picked up that moment, I would have 
I dropped the phone and probably gone over swinging. I'm telling you, I was like, what the fuck? No, so you just like totally ignored him? Like he wasn't yep. there? It was, it's more that you were there to talk me, talk to me and calm me down. Yeah. You may not have realized it at the time, but yes, you were calling me down to keep me from <laughs> trying to keep his face in. Well, yeah, because if, think about it, if you got into a fight, like, they could, like, extend your shit just because of you being yeah. a bad boy. <sighs> you know what's fucking weird? <coughs> and I just uh, really excuse me, sorry, him. what? What's your baby? Bless you. you. Uh, Alright, I'm back in my office. So this time when we cut off, I'll, I'm going to have to go up and start prepping my noodles, and then I'll come right back down and call you. It shouldn't take well, be perfect because more than is it? five minutes, but it might take less. And then I'm Keep just going to close, stupid girl. Yeah, what time are, where are we at? Hold on, we're at 14 minutes. Okay, so we got another minute. When you're done, I just have to wait for the next person to come on. And that's it. And then I get to talk to you when I leave here, just normally, not having to worry. You have one minute left. There it is. <laughs> it's not wondering if people are going to come in or whatever. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to talk to you again. And I, I, um, I don't know, you just have to help me out, too. Because, yeah, if, if, I, if you really want me to tell you, like, about my feelings and stuff, like, this is really hard for me. It's really, really hard for me because I care about you. And yeah. I don't see a way. It's not fair that... I get to rant to you and tell you all these problems and whatnot, and you know, you think know, that you I don't just... have you don't have the right to do the same. You have every well, right, to you... girl. I promise. I know, but you you've been through so much craziness. Like I feel like my stuff is just like insignificant in a sense. I guess you know. But you've been through some crazy stuff in your life too. Maybe maybe not as crazy recently, but you've had your moments, yeah. stupid girl. You know you can talk to me about anything. Thank so you for using Securus. Right Goodbye. Back. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... Hey, baby girl. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so this is probably the last one. Yeah, because it's like... Yeah, uh, I'll, uh, I'll definitely check when it next makes us hang up if trays are out in the hall. If they're not, I'll call you again. Okay. I want to make and, sure you eat and... Yep. Do all and that stuff. And if they come around during our call, I promise I'll let you know. So. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. But as Can't as I was saying, it. we can't, if we focus, we, if we always focus on the happy, we'll never be ready when the negative hits. You're right. Absolutely right. I want um, you to share that burden with me, baby. That's part of my job as your husband. I your know. struggles are my struggles, baby. So anytime you're feeling sad or angry, you know you can talk to me. You can I, 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 I don't want to cry on selfish. my shoulder, baby girl. You can metaphorically cry on my shoulder. You can rant to me. You know you can, baby girl. I will listen I to every last word you say. I will be there to comfort, to soothe. I just, it makes me feel selfish. That's all I guess. I guess that's the best way to put it. It makes hey, me feel selfish. I've ranted to you, haven't I? Yeah, but but your situation is worse, you know? I know it's that's worse, but that doesn't mean that I see, don't see you as my equal. That's that's another thing. That's when beautiful. we're married, we're equal, baby girl. Our struggles are equal, no matter how much bigger one of them may seem. That's true, because everything is us. A mental struggle, like what you're probably facing, will always be bigger than a physical struggle. Like the fact that you're stuck in here. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that 100%. That's the mental aspect of it. Um, you know, it's tough. But I think when I'm there, it's going to, like, even like the phone calls, right? Like, just to know, like, say, like, you're only 10 miles from me. <laughs> you know? Like, that's different. Like, okay. Now on, baby girl, I want you to promise me that if you're ever feeling sad or angry, you tell me, okay? You but know then I be telling you all the time. <laughs> I you know, know. I know. I'll be honest, I mean, like, yeah, like, like when we hung up last night, um, I just felt like it was like, oh, I sent you like immediately a text that said I love you and I was like, I hope this thing is still on. You can at least see that the last thing. I didn't know if I saw it. I it was. I saw it this morning, baby girl. I saw it as soon as I woke up. 
Yeah. So I was Very trying good. to like get the to tablet you. came on and I was going to send you my text. Now does it just like shut down or you have to do it and then they check? Like how does that work? Uh I normally shut it down like just as it hits the times like eleven yeah. uh AM uh four PM and uh eleven thirty PM. I usually shut it off beforehand because I don't really like my apps disappearing. Oh, so they'll disappear if you don't. Like if they Yeah. And that's your video games and stuff? Uh video games, connect me all of it practically. What's connect me? I've never even heard of that one. The connect me is how I text you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the texting part on my end. It's for texting and calling, but the only thing I can call on my tablet is uh, commentary. That sucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like I said, this is the only pod that has it, and it's infuriating. Well, yeah. Especially now that I have you, baby girl. Well, I promise, as soon as I get paid on Friday, I'm going to um, re-up the stamps so that I can... Um, <laughs> send you those videos. If I have to make five of them, I will. It would be five stamps made, probably, mm-hmm. for those 30 seconds. It's not a lot. So I'll do that. I'll send you, like, like five, like, 30 second so. videos. So you can actually see me, like, alive and moving. Like, I've seen you that way, but you haven't seen me that way. You know? Yeah. I know it's I know. really weird. <laughs> I'm weird. What can I say? But, um, hey, we're both weird. We compliment each other's weirdness. In every way, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Every so, single so, day, so much, baby girl. I can't wait. I love to see you. you. So now, when Go is your over that next video? Week? And yeah, um, I can't turn that. Maybe I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. I don't. If you think about it, think about this. If he really does thirty, let's say the appeal and it doesn't go through, and he does thirty, yeah, she'll be in her seventies when he gets out. So I don't know. I mean, that's tough. I don't. I don't know. I would say no, not if he doesn't get out or before that. I don't see how it can. But didn't the Menendez brothers get married in prison? Are they still married to the same person that they married? I wonder. I should look that up. I think they both got married in prison, didn't they? I mean, they're still in there, so and they've got life. Uh, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I could do a poll, but I would say if he doesn't get it lowered with an appeal, no, I don't think it'll last. Um, if he does, I don't know. She wrote him. So yeah, they didn't know each other before this. She wrote him. Uh, you know, she knew about the case and wrote him. So that's how she met him when she was in prison. That same, I get really the same way that. Um, Randy and Jojo. Jojo wrote them. Actually, Randy, there is a um, a call on here. I have to find it. It's because remember I said I listened to them all straight through, and then now I'm going through and redacting things that need redacted, and so I'm you know and then uploading them or whatever. So I don't know where is that yet. I haven't came to it as I'm redacting stuff, but there's a call where it's you could hear him checking his voicemail. It's the only one I've ever got on the, in this. So he, and it must be old. Actually, it does give a date. It's like from in the January something. I, it says. So when we, when I get to that part, I'll let you know. Um, I think it's January. So there's three or four voicemails. So he's, you could hear him checking his voicemails. And one of them is Randall. And it's him saying, Hey, my name is this. I, you know, all this stuff saying, Hey, give me a call. I know you don't know me, but I, you know, I saw your case, blah, blah, blah. So it must be his first time he reached out. So there, I don't know how they could get voicemails, though. I don't get that. But he was checking them, and there's a few people giving him their phone numbers, asking that, that, that Paul doesn't know, saying, hey, I heard about your case. My name is this. Tell them a little about their life. And then giving them their phone numbers and asking him to call back. So I don't know. So it looks like Rand, Randall did it through a phone. I don't know. I was thinking JoJo, from what we've heard in calls, it sounds like she did it through writing. But I know there's ways people could get the app and text to. You look up the inmate. So there's a few different ways people could reach out to him. So she reached out to him in one of those ways where she wrote him. Like, I don't know if it was a text or a letter. That I don't know. But, yeah. 
Yeah, and hopefully soon. Really, 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 really soon. <laughs> yep. Definitely. You know, and, and, you know, it meant so much to me when you said last night, you know, that yeah, it's the a fact thing. that I'm willing to sacrifice so much for you that you would do the same. Um, but I don't ever want you to have resentment towards me if it turns out that people that you love don't approve of me. Um, down the road, I don't want you to resent me. But then again, you have to remember if that's what happens, that that's their choice. It's not our choice. You know what I mean? If if something happens with that whole deal that gets me upset at you, you know I would tell you. Yeah. And um, I'd I just express don't my want... feelings so we can work through them together. Okay, baby girl? Yeah. Absolutely. I've done so much holding back my emotions that... Uh, and you don't ever have to do that ever again in your life. I know. You know, I want, I want you to know that, like, that part of your life is done. Yeah. Like, that feeling... You With you, I feel like I can tell you anything. You can. Anything. Anything. Because anything, even if it was something I didn't like, it would be before me. So, you know what I'm saying? What matters to me, that the only thing that would be able to break anything would be is if you did something hurtful or something I didn't like while we are together. Of course, baby, um, I promise you that won't ever happen. No, I don't, I don't foresee it happening. I don't see us fighting. I don't see any of that. I think that our communication yeah. is amazing. Our communication is subliminal. It's, it's beautiful, you know? Like I said, like, in my past relationships, like, I always had to, like, think about things before I said them. So I wouldn't make anybody mad. Like, it sucked. It was like relationships to me were, like, they started becoming, like, a bad thing. Um, why I chose to say things. Then you met me. Yes, yes. And then I'm like, Jesus, I'm like... This is everything I've ever wanted, and you say it. Everything I've ever wanted, baby girl. But against all odds, we're going to make it always work, no matter what. I promise. I'm not going to walk away from you. I'm not going to walk away from you. I know how precious this is, and I'm going to tell you how I know. Because I've spent years in relationships, and when it was done, it was just like, okay. If you were to, like, never reach out to me again, that would devastate me, I think, more than... Even getting abandoned. I know, baby girl. Anything. And like I said, I if somehow by some odd, crazy mir- miracle or curse, I, I should say, I somehow forget your phone number, I have it written down. I hope they don't throw it away. <laughs> well, I would if, have to do what I If they try to, I'll at least request that uh, they let me write down the phone numbers on there on something that I can take with me. Will you tell them, say, this is my fiancé and she's my emergency contact and this number needs to be brought over to the prison. So even if I can't (laughs) physically bring it there, you know. Um, Like I said, once we get married, it's going to be totally different, you know, because then it's um, a very, very different thing. So I was really happy to read about that. Um, They don't just treat me like a baby girl. I want you to so bad. I know. <laughs> what time is it? Are you going to get in trouble? It's 11. Should you go? Uh, no. Or should we just no, try to write far as, Like I said, the, the tra- one of the guys in here said that the trays aren't here till like, out in the hall till normally a quarter till. And okay. And once this makes us hang up, I'll go and check. And if they're not in the hall oh, or they are in the hall but there are no trustees in sight I'll come back and I'll call you in, in tedious way I'm here baby girl yeah. it should okay. take like 10 seconds to check if- yeah Missy I watched some of I didn't get to watch all of them I watched a few of those Um, and I was gonna possibly do a reaction to them but I don't know man I still have these calls and I want to do other cases I don't know if I have time to so like I said when he, when he gets to the part when they get to the part where she starts talking about you, I want to give you a timeline of everything and like some of the inconsistencies. And so hopefully it'll give you a better picture. I'm just waiting until it comes up to uh, explain it. Oh, that's okay. I, so like when they do that, like do you just go up there and get what you need or even like with like the medicine cards, like do you just get to get up and do it or do you have to wait for someone to do it? Uh, we have like, to wait for them to pop our hatch and slide our trays through. Oh, you have one of those things? Yeah. We I've all have the hatches things. in our like door in our cell doors, but normally those aren't used for much other than the commissary and mail that's too big to be slipped in through the side cracks of the door. And 
Uh, is it a bunk bed in there, or is it two like twin beds? Like bunk I'm bed. trying to like yeah. a visual. Yeah, Are you, and you're on the bottom or top? I'm on the bottom. Yeah, my bunk is on the top. That's kind of how he fell a couple weeks back and hurt himself. <laughs> but you like the bottom better. <laughs> Very much so. The top bunk slightly has some, or the bottom, it gives you a bit of shielding when you're on the top, bottom bunk, because, uh, you know, like I said, they don't completely turn off the lights in here. They have a single bulb in the rooms turned on, like in every single room, so it's never completely dark. That sucks. That sucks. Yeah. But I would rather be on the bottom bunk, too. I would feel like I was more like... I don't know, in my own little bubble, you know? Yep. Uh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, the, you know, it's the, I'm glad that you're funky or whatever, and you go get along. What is he in there for? Uh, the CSC claims, like, okay. there's not even that much proof. Criminal sexual conduct. Oh. Oh. There's not even so that much said, proof. Okay. And has he been sentenced yet, or no? Uh, no. Okay, so he's still awaiting. His he's a very, he's a very cool guy, though. You know, it's funny, I worry so much about you, but I also think, you know, what you need to do is, you can be, probably because of your height even, somewhat intimidating, um... But you need to, if, if you have to even play crazy, it'd be safe, play crazy, like whatever you have to do. Because that's my biggest fear with you is people, when, you know, when you're in prison. Um, and, 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 and if anything happened to you, I would freak the fuck out and I know, attack girl. everything that is putting you into a negative light. Um, but yeah, that's why I want to be there too, because if anything ever happened to you, I'm not saying that you're going to get killed or anything, I'm saying yeah. anything. I Trust me, there. I could I could act like a rabbit animal if I wanted to. That's what I'm saying. I'm jerking my head thing. around and constantly shaking like I'm crazy. <laughs> Using those weird that double joints that you got. Yeah, take oh, like trust that. Trust me, my teeth could. The teeth would also help. You think so? I don't know. I love all of it. It would. You wouldn't be the same if they were different. Like I just. I love everything as it is. I wouldn't want you to even like even if you said, "Oh, I'm going to get braces." I'd be like, no, because it changes who you are. Like, I know you as you are. And I don't think you look like a shark. I don't care what people say. <laughs> I don't agree I'm with that. I've always kind of, you know, I've never really been a big fan of these teeth because they're... Baby, you're gorgeous. You are. There's nobody else. Just you. So you don't have to feel that way. Okay? It's, okay. None of that bothers me. I think you're perfect. Like I said, especially that chiseled face. mm mm-hmm. <laughs> I want that's that's what I think about a lot. I think a lot about like yeah, just being able to touch your face. I want to touch your face. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was asking one of the guys because I could hear a bunch of doors opening and closing outside. But is, is trains aren't coming around yet. Okay. Um. So they're gonna do put a there. quick double check when this gets, makes us hang up, but. Yeah. Well, no, you I should. I should still be able to call you back. I definitely okay. will, girl. But if not, don't so worry. Much. Make sure you know you text me so I know you're okay and stuff. And I, I love you too. And um, uh, you know, if they're putting stuff you through your one minute left. There it is. Come uh, on. All right. Well, I guess I should tell you ten million times how much I love you and how I'll be there soon. Um, and I'm super excited. Um. Yeah, like this is really going to happen. I think that there might be like maybe just a little percentage of you that may think that it may not happen, but I'm going to be there. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't even tell you when I arrive. Maybe I should just like show up. Oh, this surprised me like I surprised you with that song last night. Dude, my comment just got rejected. So all of you, dang it. So that proves right there. Because I get, you know, every time people, oh, she's removing comments. My own on my channel just got rejected. Oh, my God. It's like, try to change it a little bit. It's like, what are you kidding me? Oh, my Lord. Who are these people? This is my channel, dude. Like, what? Spam or whatever? 
Like, how are you going to reject the creator's comment? <laughs> I took a lot of time to type it. It was a really long one. I was answering one of the questions about getting her on for an interview. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Wow. So just know, guys. Yeah. Well, we've, I mean, we've tried to help people when they get <laughs> A lot of it's out of our hands. It sucks. Oh, Lord. That's funny. Yeah. Like, just show up. They tell you if someone's here to see you and... And that's me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> or would that make you upset? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd probably yeah. be, I'd definitely be surprised and, you know, they're shocked that you're there. But I think I'd also like to know that, you know, you're closer by. This Thank you for using right Secura. Back, Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... Hey, sexy. Hey, handsome. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Do you know who, do you know who, um, listens to these calls? Who? No, I don't know. I'm asking you if you know. <laughs> no, not exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of funny because, you know what? Um, I'm thinking about this and I was like, one of those guards, like, hears these conversations. <laughs> it is probably like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's sad that this call is only going to be 10 minutes because we have to lock down uh, I want to talk oh, yeah, to you. Yeah, I just checked uh, somebody's <laughs> yeah. tablet because they had them on still. I know, baby girl. I know. I don't want you to go. Hey, I'll call you tomorrow morning as soon as I wake up. Babe, I don't want you to go. We're supposed to be together. Like, I know. we're supposed to be together. I know, baby. That's I don't want to go either, okay? I'm going to cry when you hang up with me. Hey, hey, don't cry in the call. Yeah, no, you're going to leave me. Everybody leave. Everybody no, go. hey, hey, don't talk like that, baby girl. I'm not leaving you. I know, I just love you. I just want to be with you. As soon as you're here, you can see me and we can... You can see that it's real. I promise you. I want to be with you. It sucks. It sucks so bad. I, I It's like... It's just, it's horrible, and I, and I don't want I you know, to worry about I know, Take Take a deep breath for me, okay, baby? I'm trying. I don't, want to, I don't want to have to hang up with you. I didn't even get to talk to you enough. Yeah, you know? I know. I know, baby girl. This sucks. But it's just like remember, I have to I'm work. always with you. I'm always with you. I'm in your mind. I'm in your heart, your soul. Our bodies are... Are practically melded already. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, baby. I'm really sorry. I just love okay. you. I love you too, baby. And I just want to be. I don't want to think that, like, when I hang up with you, that's it. Now it's like you're just gone. You know? Hey, hey, listen to me. I am nothing. Nothing like those other men who have been so horrible to you. They don't deserve a woman for what they've done to you. Ever. Just, you deserve me, and I. I just want to have you with me. I, I want to be there. You Listen, know. I promise. I will I mean, make I really every really... Fan, every last bit of your fantasy of your perfect man come true. You are, and I love you, and I don't want you to have to hang up in it. Like it's like you're just gone, and I know you're in my heart, and I feel your feel you. It's just, I just, I want to be near you, even if we can't have sex and stuff. I don't even care. I just want to be near you and love you, and I know. let you know what you're scared about and all that stuff because you okay, are. Right. Okay. And I just, I just hate. Focus I hate, on my voice. I know. It will all I hate. Be okay, baby girl. I'm here. Close your eyes and just feel my energy. Do you feel me sending you hugs? Wiping away your tears? I just want you to come and save me. I want to save you. I want us to save each other. You know? I know, baby. Soon. We will you know, save each other. I don't want it to be too late, you know? What if I die tomorrow? Like, you know? Like, hey, hey, don't talk like that. If we, if we waste our lives focusing on the what-ifs, we will never see what is right in front of us. 
this connection, no. this love and bond. I love you. I love you, baby girl, so, so much. The first minute I, I will I never, ever leave you. Please don't. What you're stuck Nobody. with me. I want you to stay with me forever. I don't care if you're behind bars. I, I, I just need your love. You, know? you will always have it. Never doubt that, okay, baby girl? <laughs> I'm trying. We have six minutes, I guess, right? 11.54. Uh, yeah, six minutes. Do you guys want me on the right or left side? I have a couple new settings. I, I know. Go. I don't want to go either, baby. I don't want to go either. No. I'm here. I know. I'm putting you on my chest right now. You're on my heart. I know you, you know that I value it, as I value every last bit of you, baby. Your soul, your body, your mind, your heart. I love every last thing about you, physical and non-physical. You and are my everything. Without you, I would rather not exist. And I don't want people to put that ideas in your head like some people are doing, because I'm not... <laughs> Oh, you I believe oh. that you are doing the right thing. You are talking to me because you love me and you want to be with me. Other people's opinions are their opinions. I know, but it scares me because you said it could change your mind, you know, and, and then well, what? hearing you this vulnerable, I don't think I could walk away, ever. I wouldn't want to You're right me. about one thing. You don't care about people's opinions, so why should I care about others' opinions? If my well, family people... doesn't care about you the way I care. So everybody's asking what? It's because the J J JoJo thing, because remember, I was trying to, or I tried to, I was telling you how, um, so JoJo, JoJo thought, don't trust her, that she, that I sent her to get information and stuff. So, uh, he had put it in Paul's head, or she put it in Paul's head. Jojo, and then Jojo questioned the fiance about it, and they got in a little argument or whatever, I guess. And then, um, so I, that's I think that's where this is stemming from. And then, like, you know, Nolan not trusting her at the time. I don't know as of right now how he feels, but uh, so I think that's where this is stemming from. Care about you, then that's that, that's their opinion. But the fact is, Thanks, I Nora. love you. You are my everything. <laughs> I don't want to be your wife. I don't want to wait till September. I want to like go there next week and marry you. <laughs> it's I horrible. Know, baby. I've never had a connection soon. like anyone. As soon as I'm transferred, why don't we? As soon as I'm transferred, let's do it, okay? Thank you, Nora. Yeah. Let's I want to do, do it. it. As a transferred, I will let you know, and, that and you bigger. can send in a message, and I will approve it. I will be married to you, baby girl. Okay. Don't change your mind, okay, please? Because I, I will love. I'm not love backing you down. How could I back down when you're like this, baby girl? I can't. This is my heart longs and aches and yearns for you. Nice for you, and I, and I accept it for what it is. As much as I don't want to have to accept it, that you might never get out, I know that that is a possibility. But I will still love you, and you have to believe that, okay? And I will still love you. I do believe that, baby girl. You know, I'm the you one. And always you have my heart. This, this don't let other people convince you otherwise, because they don't know me. They don't know what we share. They don't. They don't know you. And sometimes I believe that they don't want to get the chance to. I don't Why? think. I think my brother's biggest thing right now is he doesn't want to trust anyone when it comes to my case. That's his opinion. Let him not trust anyone. I have but I to do trust with you. But the thing is, is I don't have anything to do with your case. Nothing at all. I exactly. just have to you. You know, and you, you I, even avoided the topic whenever. Where I'm not comfortable with it. So, 
Why would you be after anything, any details about it? Exactly. You would. The only thing, if you notice, the only thing I ever ask you are your emotions about things. I don't ask you to information. I ask you about you, you know? I know, baby girl. Like how you feel. You know, I don't ever try to get anything off of you like that. I wish I could be there with you right now, baby girl. Soaking you in my comfort. Those with you. Whisper words of love. This is so beautiful and so it's so beautiful and yet it's so hard to be away from me. It sucks. I know, baby girl. It's hard for me too. You promise so madly in love and not being able to do very much about it at the moment. It sucks. And soon to we will do a lot more about it, okay, baby girl? Yeah. Just don't go away. I don't I want there to you. Time I you will be here for And if you transferred and then just not call me and then I couldn't find you and, you know, It'll be okay. Thanks, still. It'll be okay. I promise you I will call you. And if Melody. somehow you, I forget your number, I have it written down. Uh, yeah. Don't forget about I won't, baby girl. You know I won't. I promise. And don't let any other girls try to steal you away from me. Anyway. <laughs> I love you. 12 o'clock, baby girl. Please don't cry, okay? Okay, Remember, I'm always with you, hugging you, and kissing you, showering you in love. Well, love I'll you. talk to you the moment I wake up, okay? Okay, baby, I love you. I love you too. I'll talk okay. to you soon, okay? Okay, Hello, <laughs> this is a prepaid collect call from... That's all I'll say. I don't Hi. even know what to say. You there? Yep. Okay, cool. That was pretty intense. No, so anyway, when I woke up, I got your message, and um, Who makes this that song, I absolutely love like that song, I've always it. loved that song, and the irony of what I was going to say is that when I first, when that song first came out, oh. me and my mom, because my mom likes Bruno Mars too, and we were talking about the song, and I said to her, <laughs> I said, you know, I said, I wish somebody would feel like that about me, that, you know, and, and then it, when you sent that this morning, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it happened, but just several years later, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so it's wild. And that song by John Legend, I listened to, it was on my, it's on my playlist. And, um, I was like, I know the lyrics already, but I was like, now I'm like, oh my God, now I can really like relate this song to my life with you. Um, it's um, a beautiful song. Could you real quick uh, text me your face, uh, Facebook name so I can give it to Joe? I don't know, even know where it is in my text. So I'd probably have to scroll around for way too long. Yeah, hold on. Let me do it right now. Hold on. Uh, let me pull up my chat. Give me one second. All right, I just can't. Yeah. If, if, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll let's be, oh my God, that's so or funny. Anybody that you want me to. I, I also to suffer from obsessive OCD. It's obsessive cuteness disorder. Yes, you are my cuteness. You are my cuteness. Oh, no, she's she can reach out to me. She can talk to me. Anything. Yeah. I mean. I want people to know that I'm not some, like, weird of course. person, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. You know, you can let her know that I'm not trying to be sketchy or anything. Um, so, yeah, that's important to me. Um, Should I tell her to send you a quick friend request? Yeah, or a message. Um, but, yeah. But, um, no, I, you know, like I said, I don't want you to overthink <laughs> these videos, but if they do get released, I'm going to tell you about them so we know what to expect together, because um, we're in this together, so, you know, so no, you can <clears> tell JoJo that they did not mention, like, her hometown or any of that, it was just, they yeah. said she was, um, and that you guys met while you were in jail, and then they talked about this mysterious pen pal person that they claimed was in the court, I thought it was funny because I'm Yeah, I have no idea. You had told me who was in the courtroom, so I already knew, and that's why I was laughing because all these people are posting. Yep, oh, it looks girl. like that's the one she's uh, on. Huh? It looks like that's the one she's on. And who's on? Yo, Joe, she's on your page. Okay, cool. Um, and you can see JoJo and Randy in the video and his son. Yep. yep. Yeah. 
Yep, I'm a real person. I am, I am. <laughs> I want to see what she says. Because if she sees my photo, she's going to see all the photos that I sent to you. <laughs> I'm all dressed classy. I'm always classy, baby, I promise. There's nothing risky on my page at all. But like I said, big chested women can't really, you know, what can you do? <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> but, you know. So she anyway. said, yes, she's pretty. Looks like she's pretty safe from Zaf girl. Looks like she was? <laughs> she said, Joe said, yes, she's pretty. Looks like she's pretty safe from Zav girl. Safe for me. Safe? I, I honestly have no idea. Did she use the word safe, S-A-F-E? Yeah. So what does that mean, safe from Zav girl? Uh, I don't really know. I might ask. <laughs> Well, at least she thinks I'm pretty. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so you could see, as he's talking to her on the phone, he's texting JoJo. So they could text, call. Um... So I don't know, because you know how, like, um, you could sign up for those apps when people are in jail? I did it for Lori Vallow. I tried to contact her to see if I could get some answers or whatever. This is when she first got arrested. Um... And so I don't know if that is what she means by writing him, if she reached out like that, or if it was a letter. Because there's different ways now with electronics. So it doesn't have to be like a written letter now. That's cool. Basically, you know, I'm not, I'm not, um, what is that word? Catfishing you, like where I'm sending you like fake pictures and stuff. Because if JoJo's looking at my page, I have, you can see definitely a lot of my pictures. Yeah. But my birthday is not public, so she won't know how old I am unless you tell her. Because yep. my private. I, really I think I already did that. <laughs> did you tell her how old I was? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I'll, I'd have to scroll back and look. I love your voice. You know that? I love your voice. So <laughs> soothing and peaceful. <sighs> Even if we're talking about all this ugly... Be, and it can be very sexy at times in a baby girl. Yeah, well, yeah, your voice is always sexy. It doesn't matter how you're talking. You're always... <laughs> I wish that I could take a snapshot and send you the photo. It says so like, let me just set it up because a lot of people that have been watching me, they already know about about some of this because when it was happening, I was telling them. So first of all, if you didn't catch that, when she said, Paul said, JoJo was basically friending her on Facebook and then saying, it looks like she's safe from Zav Girl. Not sure why she said that because my channel and me uh, putting people's Facebook and stuff like that. And you know, so, so I don't know why they don't, they didn't even know. I'm not sure why she thinks that, that she was safe when she looked at her Facebook. I have no idea, but that was what that was all. And they didn't even know, like you said, what do you mean safe from Zab girl? Anyway. So about a month and a half ago, this was after the sentence, she reached out to me threatening to sue me, threatening the law, threatening to come after me which you guys heard from different calls and stuff. Um, and I told you, I said, hey, she reached out. So she told me she was his fiance. And at first I really didn't have a way to verify it. And I wanted one and, um, and I was like, okay, so can I tell everybody that he's engaged or what, you know, what's going on? And she said, cause you know, I don't do lives every day. So I don't think I even did a live in between the time when she told me she was engaged and then she said yeah she said yeah but it was like she didn't want her her name and she, i don't i can't remember exact words but i was like okay so i could tell him that he's engaged so that saturday i did a live and i said is it like news big news or whatever and i said you know paul is a fiance and everybody thought it was a lie and they're like no you're lying and i said i need some kind of proof because nobody's gonna believe it you know i need to verify that you could be anybody. So she sent me those text messages between her and Paul. That's, you know, you could tell they were from her and Paul and they're talking about being the fiance. So I showed those on that live. This is like over a month ago. I showed the text messages and I announced it that she had a fiance. Some people doubted me and said, oh, how do you know? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I mean, here's the text messages. She said they were engaged on the text messages. They said they were engaged. I said, she said that maybe she would do an interview with me. I said, and that everybody's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, so she said, maybe it depends on how this goes. She's a little bit afraid of, you know, the the uh, backlash. 
And um, so, so I was hoping. I was like, okay. And then we didn't talk for a while. And then I was just like, yeah, I don't think that's going to, I don't think the interview is going to happen. But she did ask me, she said, I'm trying to think about how the exact word. So I don't, with my OCD, I want to make sure everything is completely accurate. Um, she said, you know, she's threatening to sue me, threatening the lawsuit. And she says, if you air my cause, we're going to come after you. You'll hear this here. She's telling Paul that we're going to come after you with the law. And, you know, if you air my cause, well, at the time, at the time, I had the cause. Remember, I had the pre-sentence calls. Okay. At the time, there was no calls of her. So I said, okay, I won't play your calls because I didn't have any of her calls. <laughs> there was no cause. And I forgot about the like a week between the sentence and the uh him transferred out because I knew I couldn't get him in prison. And I forgot that there was that little week. So when I said, I promised her, I was like, okay, I want your calls because I didn't have any of her calls. So I just kind of like, you know, uh, appeased her because it's like, I don't have her calls anyway. So I promised her, I was like, well, I won't air your calls because in my head, I'm like, I don't have them anyway. So, they're, you know, um, and then, you know, we do more lives and people are like, well, what about that week? And it reminded me, I'm like, wait, there is a little bit but in between time where he's still at the freaking jail and not at prison yet. So I can get those calls. So I got them. You saw, I just got them what last week or whatever. And most of them were with her. So I was like, dang it. I promised I wouldn't air these. Um, and so I reached out and, you know, told her I'm now I'm going to play them. Uh, because I, when I was saying post sentence, I meant prison. We can't get the prison calls anyway, you know? And, um, and so, well, you'll hear it all, but th that's kind of the timeline. But he, most of you guys have been watching all this. You remember like a month or so ago, I was talking to her. We were trying to get an interview. So, because there's some people that are new to me and they're like acting like me talking to her has been a secret when it hasn't. Oh, oh, here's another thing. So she says, so she's threatening the law and she, say, she says that, um, that, and this is true, which I, knew this was true because I was talking to another family member that was saying the same thing. She said, people are harassing Randy. They're harassing Jojo, which I don't know how they would harass Jojo because I didn't release any uh, information. They said, they're all getting released. The family, everybody's getting harassed. And I don't want people getting harassed. I've always freaking stood for, don't go out and harass these people. We just want to talk about it. Leave them alone. So she's telling me all the family getting harassed. They're all getting harassed. Like, can I please take like the Facebook, Randy's Facebook and pictures and stuff of the people that aren't known. So like everybody knows who Nolan, all, the, all his family is because it's a part of the trial. It's a part of the case that you can't hide. And Randy did have that interview. I did say, well, he, gave his name because he had an interview and he's the one that gave his whole name but she said they're they're just getting harassed can you please just respect that and plus she's threatening to sue me and she's threatening you know and i know youtube has different policies so uh oh and then the family friend was telling me the same thing no family member i should say i'm talking to a friend and a family member the family is getting harassed like innocent bystanders like stepkids and all these people are getting harassed so i knew that was true and i'm like I, that's it this is going too far people harassing and she says can you she actually said well i might get to the part when she says it and i'll explain how she relays it and it's not accurate uh but we'll wait to that part it, that part comes um i hope i'm not confusing you guys i just know some people didn't see all of this and they're you guys could go back and watch that live when i did it and uh that I was in contact with her and stuff and people were kept asking, did you get the interviews? Like, no. And then I didn't talk to her for a while. And then when these call, when I got these calls and they were all her, I wanted to give her a heads up. Cause I'm like, dang it. I told her I wouldn't air these calls. So I gave her a heads up. Hey, I'm going to air these. I got these. Um, when I said after sentence, I meant the prison ones because I mean, we can't get them anyway. I forgot about that that like eight days or ten days or whatever that time in between you guys made me realize that but after yeah it had been after i promised her you know okay hopefully that made sense and i'll tell you some of the other stuff as she's saying it the thing with um you could even ask soul if soul's in here ask her when i was listening to these i was like man she's not relaying this stuff accurately to paul about things so it's making 
you know, when I play it for you, it's going to make me look like a liar in a way. Cause I'm like, that's not what I said. Or even this, the parts where she's talking about the videos. Cause a lot of this stuff, she's talking about the videos and people are thinking that it's me telling her this. If you listen closely, she's talking about my videos. So when you will I'll point out some of those parts when she says it and it's like, what she, how she's perceiving them is a little bit different when she's relaying them. And I was talking to soul for music when I was listening to him, when I first got him, I'm like, dude, she's not relaying this stuff accurately. Like the videos, but you know how people sometimes watch a video and they misunderstand. I know that from my videos, people misunderstand me a lot. But like I said, when that, when those parts come out, I'll point it out, but we did listen to a little bit of them um, on the live or some of the stuff she was saying something about like how I had to, uh, review and edit something before I listen. I don't remember saying that, but that was on, she was talking about on my channel. So it's not like I was telling her that over a month ago, this was on the channel. Um, but I did tell her that I would remove, cut out the part of the live where I showed Randy's Facebook. And I did. And I told you guys that too, on the live, if you remember, I told you, I said, I'm redacting some things. I'm taking out the Facebook. Um, and what else? like edit out like them, you know, oh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and I tried to edit out redact, you know, privacy stuff with no one. So some people are coming at me saying, well, you wouldn't, you didn't do it for uh, the family. Yeah, I did. I redacted, uh, you know, I tried to keep it all within the guidelines for that too. And anything I missed, I tried to go back and redact names and stuff, but I, maybe I missed some, like I said, I need to hire an editor or something. Um, but yeah. Most people just do it and don't tell you because when you get FOIA, they don't come redacted. The only thing they redact is like my, like when people are minors, they don't redact stuff. But that's what I'm saying, you guys. Like I, I've been through a lot with this, you know. I mean, think about that. As much as like I know you guys don't, you guys don't like her. I get it, and you don't like what she's doing. Um, I'm not arguing with you know how you guys feel, but when you promise somebody. Think about that. On any level, when you promise somebody, how bad does that suck when you break a promise? It's just like, dang it. Because I was like, dude, they have to hear this. So, you know, gosh darn it. And so I wanted to at least, you know, talk to her and be like, because, you know, you're breaking a promise and I don't care. I'm just like a good person. You know what I'm saying? So, and a lot of you are, you guys understand. I'm not calling any of you guys bad people, but like, when you give somebody your word, I mean, that kind of sucks to go back on it. Um, so yeah. Uh, but like I said, then I was able to talk to her and now, you know, I, we, we did it, but I still had to redact things for YouTube policy. I hope you guys realize that people just do it and they don't talk about it. Like I, I know I'm repeating myself anyway. Okay. Let's go play it. The FB doesn't have any personal info, so that girl probably won't find her. That's true, because I have a private page. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Everybody's acting like we're, like, best friends or something. No, I mean, I'm trying to, <laughs> you know, and plus, you know, everybody, we've been trying to get this interview, so th those of you that are new here or didn't listen to that back then, like, we, we were trying to get her interviewed for, like, over a month because it would be a good interview, right? And then I didn't think it was going to happen. And then when these calls, when I got these calls and then I had to reach out to her again, because I wanted to give her a heads up because I promised her I wouldn't air her calls. Now I have them. So I wanted to give her a heads up that, okay, yeah, I have them. I'm going to, I want to, I'm going to air them. Um, and so, but I hadn't talked to her like after for weeks after that. So, cause I don't, she, you know, I didn't think she, she didn't want to do the interview and I just, I, I don't know. I was just, didn't talk to her and then and everybody kept asking hey did you get the interview is she gonna interview it's like no i don't think she is but i don't know now i don't know if, if she is probably not but well i wanted to pay i wanted to explain this part because it's coming up and instead of stopping it so much in between each part i wanted to explain the timeline uh when she reached out the reach the first reach out was her threatening me and then I was like, well, I don't have her calls anyway. So, yeah, I know you're good. I don't have your calls. I don't think I said that. I just said, okay, I won't play them. But there wasn't any. And I knew the prison calls weren't available because those the prison systems there don't release the calls. So I was like, you know what? I could promise her because I don't have any and I don't, we can't get them. And then afterwards, I 
realized. So I thought it was decent to at least reach out and give her a heads up. Hey, and we worked it out. Yeah, but uh, YouTube has policy anyway. It doesn't matter what's public or not. Uh, <laughs> think about what I got in trouble with with the whole autopsy. That was a FOIA. And everybody freaking obliviated me. But if it's okay to just air anything that's public that you get from FOIA, then that should be okay, right? But it wasn't for me to release that. You see what I'm saying? There's limits. She's going to see a Trump thing on my page. I hope she doesn't hate Trump. <laughs> <laughs> no, she voted for Trump, but her son's not talking to her for it. Oh, okay, cool. She's going to see that, like, if she looks in my, um... And it says my... uh, she means safe as in not harassing you. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I got gotcha. you. That makes sense. Yeah. And tell JoJo that I said thank you for being a support system to you, that it means so much to know, like, when I'm not there, that you have her. She's like a grandmother to you. And that's beautiful. Yeah. So I, I'm grateful for that, too. Um, and I want her to know that. Um, you know, because it bothers me. When, I mean, obviously I have to work. But, you know, it's like, I hate when I can't, like, just be here ready for you if you need me or something. You know? So. Yeah, so she'll not. Not here. I'm just, I'm texting her what she said. Okay. I can just hear you breathing. That's nice. I like hearing you just breathe. <laughs> and I know you're alive. I know you're real. You're not just like some fake person. <laughs> or anime, as you would say with your anime friends. <laughs> you're my love. <laughs> I love you so much, baby girl. I love Words you alone can't describe it. I know. I just want to hold you. I just want to hold you in my arms. I don't want to hold you too. <laughs> you know what's weird? My hair is lightening up by itself. Just a really weird. I know you're a dude. You probably don't care about that stuff. But <laughs> I started like doing my own hair instead of going to the hairdresser. And um, ah. people told me don't mess with bleach on your set on your own. I did something really funky with my hair. I think it looks pretty. Um, basically, like the whole. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. Did you hear that? <laughs> no. Okay, no, um, basically, because my natural hair color is dirty blonde, so what I did uh -huh. was uh, I left the back alone, so it's my natural color, but then in the front, like, because basically I grew my hair out. I had my own hair color for a while. Um, like, she'll actually, now that she'll have access to it, she'll see me with my natural hair color, but basically um, what I did was I decided to, like, basically section my hair in the front, so the front of my hair is, like, platinum blonde, and then in the back it's, like, dirty blonde. But when I braid it, and I, I use a curling iron, like, I make my hair look really pretty. And it looks really, really super cool, like, with the two colors kind of going within each other. And they're both blonde. It's just one's dark blonde, one's light blonde. You know? And she says, uh, J Joe says, oh, I'll always be here for my grandson. Thank her also for being bringing happiness to your soul. To my you soul. have one minute left. <sighs> Wait, read that to me one more time. That, that girl just interrupts us. She she said always I'll be here for my grandson. Thank so for bringing happiness to your soul. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. Now it's at fifteen minutes six seconds. Sometimes it cuts me off at thirteen minutes and fifty something seconds. It's really really weird. Yeah. So it, like it's a little bit of extra, but then like sometimes it cuts you off a little. Short. I guess in the end it evens out because now it's going to sixteen minutes. Yeah. That's pretty close. Thank you, Jail. Thank you for giving us the message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Thank great. you for I using Secure. Oh, right Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from an incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To accept charges and consent to this recorded call, press 1 to repeat. Thank you for using Secure. It. You may start the conversation now. Hey, baby girl. Hi, babe. How are you? I'm doing good. Can you wake up? You? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. I want to see you looking all sleepy and stuff. <laughs> um, well, I made it halfway through this video that was released yesterday, seven hours ago. And um, she's a fucking piece of work, man. 
you have no idea. I'm like sitting here, right? Like That's watching me. this video, like just wanting to punch her in the face. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like really bad. It's really, really bad. So just so you know, um, I want you to always know the information before it gets to you elsewhere. Um, she found an article about Randy. Um, and about his family and you know how you guys met um she talked about jojo she says that the girl that was in the court on the day of your sentencing no i didn't and she had like a black shirt on they said that that was your pen pal nope um nope i, don't know. I didn't i'm the one that was saying it wasn't the pen pal member i was arguing with the chat so we were watching the sentence and we saw the we were able to see everybody in the background jojo randy we we're trying to figure out is that jojo is that randy and then there was this other random one that was like up front and everybody was like uh that's his pen pal that's uh i don't remember if they said that that was his girlfriend i forget what they were saying but they're like that's probably his pen pal because she's younger and i was like i think jojo was the pen pal or jojo was a pen pal I should say there's no the pen pal, but a pen pal, because how else did he get in touch with her? You know, and everybody swore they thought that that girl in the courthouse had to be because she was younger. And then I, I was going back and forth debating. I'm like, wait, why does a pen pal have to be younger? I'm confused. Just because Jojo's older, she can't be a pen pal. <laughs> this is before we knew Jojo was a pen pal. OK, and that before the call came out, I had the call before it. We saw that it was, uh, that she was. Because remember, it takes time to listen to all these calls. So it was like I hadn't got to that call yet. Um, and so uh, I was like, there it is. She's the pen pal. That's Because we didn't know if he knew her before. Did he work with her? We were trying to figure that out at that time. And I was like, no, I think she might be a pen pal. I don't, I'm thinking maybe he didn't know her before. And then we found out from a call. Yep. That's what she's talking about right here. She's talking about my video. She had, like, I, don't, hair. I don't even know who the hell they're talking about there. <laughs> yeah, so they're making the assumption that she said she has some really juicy news um, that's going to knock everybody out of their socks or some stupid shit she uses the term. Um, oh. Remember, she's saying that, I'm saying this on a video, not to her, because people are like confusing what she's saying on a video, thinking I, that I'm... I am messenger her this stuff. No, right here, this part she's saying that I said that on a video that I have some juicy news or whatever. She saw it on a whatever video she's talking about. I don't remember saying that. The only news that time that I remember talking about is when I was going to announce his fiance, but I don't know what she's talking about right there. Okay. This part. Yeah. <laughs> so then she she even um, talked about Nolan and talked about the letter that he had submitted to the judge. I don't know how she's legally able to do all this. I really, really I don't, don't either. I don't have that letter. It was because the judge said he had a letter. We were just talking about it because the judge was talking about having a letter. It wasn't because I had it. So just, just want to clear up some of the stuff. Yeah. Um, she talked about JoJo and in the background she's like, is that his wife or is that JoJo? And I'm like sitting here thinking like this bitch Oh my God, <laughs> you have no idea. Right. Yeah. No idea. Right. I think a lot of the times what she's doing is she's reading my chat and then merging that with the chat means it's from me somehow. Like she's merged, she's putting like some of the, some people that she's reading in chat saying things and then just saying it's me. You know what I'm saying? Cause it came from my video and my chat and she just, you know what I'm saying? She's like confusing it. That means it's from me, which isn't true because chat has like so many different people yeah, I never said that. I was actually debating. I was like saying, no, I don't think that that. I think that JoJo was the pen, pa uh, pen pal. I don't think that that girl that she's talking about, the, uh, the girl, she was kind of like shaking her head, this other girl that was sitting up front. So so I'm, I don't know what this juicy did was going to be at the end of her video, but she did say a comment about how she's starting to get a lot of hate mail, too. So Maybe I'm assuming that, that that's probably video. referring to me, <laughs> at least for one of them. It's so funny because they're trying, she tries so hard to put pieces together. She said that um, your sister had, I mean, your, um, well, Shonda has two sisters, one Paige and one Helen. And um, she's trying to, be to honest, I have them. no idea about that. <laughs> yeah. And she, she's talking about all this shit. And like, um, so yeah, I don't like that. She's so we haven't got to the call yet, but the whole Paige and Helen thing. 
they talk about it again. And so he doesn't know Shonda's side. The only person he knows is her brother, Shonda's brother. He said he doesn't know Shonda's side and Shonda never really told him. Probably because he didn't know his mom. He just moved there that last like, couple years. Like he, he didn't really grow up with her and know her that well. So he didn't know. He said, I don't know who her sisters are, her mom. She, he didn't know. He doesn't know them. He didn't meet them. Not that they don't exist. The fact that he, she didn't talk about him. He didn't know. He only met her brother because her brother actually had him for a little bit. All right. About. So being that she's mentioning Randy's name and everything, full name on there, I know I'm going to be next. I'm next. <laughs> yeah. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Because she has first and last names. It's weird. Like, I don't... I, I only had the last name of Randy. That's the only one I put on my video in the article. Because he did an article. He outed himself. He did an article and he used his whole name. But like I said, when she reached out and said they were getting harassed, I respected it. And I edited out the live where I brought up his Facebook. I mean, do you, and then I redacted, you know, like any uh, privacy stuff. I mean, do you, I don't think anybody would blame me. I don't think any creator would uh, have done it different, you know. Well, maybe I guess creators could do whatever, but, you know, <laughs> that's how I chose to do it. I don't get it, man. But I, I warned yeah. her. I did warn her. You know, so she better not. Uh, so this right, this call Joe right now, her. real quick. This call right now is when I guess she had written me a couple emails before I even seen them. So before I saw them or responded. So that's what she's talking about. I warned her. So at this call, I hadn't responded yet. Okay, so now she's just talking about my my videos that she's watching and that she warned me because she wrote me a couple emails. Well, I didn't see them for a few days after they were written. So. Because, like, you know, I get a lot of emails and it, it's hard to keep up, so I don't see them all right away. No, that that girl has full names. And she says she's releasing new phone calls. Yours and mine? She didn't say whose. She just said she has a lot more phone calls coming in. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is from a video, not a private convert. I just don't want you guys to get confused. This information she's talking about from the videos she's watching, okay? But I know some people are probably going to twist it all up. <laughs> she better hope that she listens to all of to each one before she just posts it. Because, you know, some of those are not for uh, other people's ears. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. Just me telling you my love for you is not for anybody else's ears. Um, mm -hmm. You know, but now that she's straight up said, she says she's had people, you know, getting on her. But she says, I still, she says, just make clear I'm going to be releasing more phone calls. So that was directed at me. That was was, I hadn't me. read the emails I yet. I mean, I might be being... She thinks that I read the email and that I'm directing this at her, but I had not. The, when I read the email, I responded like shortly after I read it. So I didn't read it and then sit on it for days and then do a video and direct it at her. That is not right. I was not directing anything at her. I didn't even know she existed at the time. I swear to God. Paranoid that the fact that I wrote to her twice because um, she was talking about email that she gets so um you know but like having randy's information and how you guys met and all this it was actually an article published in a um like in a magazine or i don't know online entertainment thing um it's really really weird so she's not holding people's names back so we'll see what happens when i listen to the second half of the video um i i don't know if it's going to like I said, she said she's got some really juicy information, so I don't know what's going to be on there. But I'm keeping tabs on it. I have, like, my phone set. With I don't think I ever said... I think the only time I said that is when... About the fiancé information. And this was before I even talked to her, so I don't know. Did I have any other juicy information that I said? I don't... I don't think I did. I just think I was releasing the calls. <laughs> I don't know. With YouTube so that anytime she posts I get a notification or she's going live um, I hope I, I catch her on a live video and I'm tear her apart um, just, yeah, just saying know. you know and you know what I have every yeah. right to tear her apart it's disgusting disgusting and um, and then I I think what made me really enraged was her saying that you know it's very clear that he's a psychopath or something like that and I'm like hmm like you don't know like if she was in front of me 
and I don't care. I would go to jail for this. I don't care. So in this recording, I would go to jail for this. I would punch her right in the face. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. She said she also has uh, Joe's first, the last name. I don't know if she has the last name, but she even knows where JoJo's from. She talks about where she's from. She talks about where um, Randy's from. Um, and he, she has quotes from him um, in one of the articles that she has, um, you know, about how, you know, and I'm glad, actually, there's only one thing on there that I was actually glad that I heard, which was that Randy said he's trying to obtain an attorney for your appeal. So he, yeah. he's doing that. So that's really good. I'm happy to know, like you said, that you have that too with him. Um, he looks at you like son, apparently. Um, you know, but it was like, she has all this information and she straight up said, and like I said, I felt it like she was talking to me. She said that she has a lot more videos coming and some really juicy information or something to that effect. Mm -mm. Um, Didn't even so know she existed she better at not. the time. Oh my God. So I told her, I told her about my daughter. I said, she do that. I said, I don't care. I said, and I don't think Paul cares either. I said, but you know what? You'd be damaging my daughter. I said, so you better not. Or I'm coming. Oh, he better not. She daughter. better not hurt my. And she didn't respond to either of my messages. And I told, don't do it for me. And Paul, I said, do it for my daughter. I didn't tell her my daughter's name. Um, so we'll see. Um, but I have a bad feeling that she's not going to give a shit. She's worried about making her money off of YouTube because she makes money off of YouTube. That's how she... Yeah, people that's all a lot she of cares money. about. She cares about the money. And so, could not do anything stupid, but I will be obtaining my own attorney to say, you know what, now this is going to affect my child. She doesn't have the right to do that. You know, just... Um, Joe wants to know, does she... Does uh, that girl know just what state they live in or their hometown? She just mentioned their state. And they found that out through one of the phone calls. But Randy in the article says where he's from. And, uh, yeah. That you have with her. Okay. And they keep talking about your pen pal. They keep saying you have a pen pal that's younger. In that, I didn't um, say that. Uh, that was my that chat. Girl. I have no idea who the hell that would Chats be. I don't that. have any young well, contacts. She could think that that girl is me, maybe. Who knows? Oh. She says that the pen pal is someone that reached out to him and that they've grown a lot closer. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that at all. We were just wondering how, at this time, at this moment, what she's talking about is that sentencing when we were looking at the videos and JoJo and the pen pals. She, well, I knew that he was talking to Jojo and I was curious, wonder how he knows Jojo. We were trying to look at his friends list and to see if there's anybody named Jojo or Joe or whatever to see how, who's Jojo. Did he know her before he went to jail? We didn't know. And we were trying to figure it out. And after we were watching that uh, sentencing part with the, I don't know if it was on the sentencing video or it was after the sentencing video where we brought up the sentencing video though and went through it and remember try to work at the background anyway so i was like i bet you jojo was a pen pal i bet you she reached out it was just a guess i was like how else i don't think he knew her before and that was my guess i thought and i was ended up being right when we got to that call but we didn't know at that time because we weren't at that call yet so um and yeah because like i bet you she's his pen pal and then everybody else was like no i bet you that girl's sitting there he has to be younger that's what she's talking about but see i this is kind of misinformation because i never said that the chat was saying stuff i hate when people take my chat and then put it into my mouth in recent times and everybody's saying it, it the pen pal has to be that girl in the courtroom with the black shirt and the girl is black actually she looks like she had like a Curly black. Yeah, so I, I, the Thank only you for three that. people I knew in the courtroom were Randy, his son, and Joe. So it's kind of funny because that's who I was that's turning around and smiling at. Oh fuck! <laughs> she 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 better not expose you, baby girl. Well, if, if but... she exposes you for all those fucking stalkers to come after you, we're gonna have some serious issues with this woman. Oh yeah, I'm like looking at her and I'm having these really dark thoughts, and I'm trying to be a good girl, um, but. I'm scared because of that comment about this pen pal. Like she's trying to entice people, people basically, I think to like stay on her live that she was streaming last night. And um, yeah, she keeps talking about a female pen pal that reached out to you in jail. 
no. that you've become close with. I didn't and say that. I'm like, oh no. And she's mm -hmm. talking about more phone calls being released. So if you put those two together within a 10 minute segment, I mean, it kind of sounds like our calls are coming out next. So, so Zap Girl, if you're playing this, <laughs> I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. With so, the full yeah. force of the Death legal. Of the law. Yeah, Absolutely. The Especially if my, if my daughter is brought into this, I'm coming after her. Yep. With the law. And I will sue her. Um, so, yeah, that's how that's going to play out. So, so yeah, so the Because at this point, it's not just, you know, me and my family. She's affecting it's you and yours. Well, that's what and I Randy's think. Randy's and Joe's. How dare she go on there? You know what? You know, the article, granted, the thing about Randy, it was, a, it was actually in an article. Um, but even still, like, who is she to say who your contacts are or who your support system is? You know, you're going through hell enough. And she yeah. doesn't even, like, when I hear the way that, like, she talks about you, it makes me so angry because I know you. And the way that she makes you have to be, it just uh, it makes me so angry. It makes me yeah. so angry. Um, but, yeah, I have a feeling, babe, I just wanted to give you a forewarning. I have a feeling our videos are about to be released because she yep. she's releasing them this week. So um, I just hope. And so remember, this is before I read her emails and talked to her at all. Um, and she, so, yeah. I have not. I don't even know she exists at this point. And pray that she doesn't mention because I I warned her. I said I don't care about myself or him in that regard. I said you know hopefully she if she does play our messages hopefully she at least listens to that extent and <laughs> so you know I just wanted to give you a heads up. I didn't want to start our conversation this way, but I needed you to know yeah. what's going on. So that and I'm grateful that you did let me know, baby girl. I'll always let you know what's going on. I follow everything, and so um, yeah, I'm 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 waiting for it. I'm like kind of nervous because I don't. Number one, I'm not going to listen to it. Like if I see that it says, I mean, well, I guess I have to because to go after her and sue her. Um, cause I already told her she doesn't have my permission to discuss anything, you know, about that and anything regarding a minor on some podcast. Um, oh, oh yeah, she cannot. But I don't think she realized that they, that. Um, they protected the G. G? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they so, have G's name because he's a minor. Well, they've said his name before. <laughs> and it's like, it yeah, makes me but, sick. Now they're not even respecting him. But, but for the most part, though, it is said usually as G. Um, but she keeps talking about this pen pal. Like I said, I didn't hear the whole video. I'm like halfway through it. Um, but she did say she's got some juicy uh, stuff. She did, a, she did a whole like stupid like like thing like um family tree. She did a breakdown of of Shonda's she, family. Okay, I was about to say she did the one of Shonda. I don't give a fuck, honestly. <laughs> no, you're on there. You're on that family tree. Just oh, I know that much, but thank you, Jennifer. And that's why I have to redact for YouTube guidelines. So I'm glad that everybody understands at least. The people that are going to understand and it, whatever. But yeah, so I do have to redact. I mean, that's why I'm redacting because of YouTube guidelines. But thank you. I mean, I can't talk. I'm like in one of those days where I'm all like, so I can't form sentences. Thank you, Chrissy. You're always being extra. Oh, thank you, Chrissy. Mary V, thank you for joining. And some of the ones at the beginning when we were listening, hopefully you saw me put them up on the screen. I saw everybody that joined them and super chatted. I just didn't get to vocalize it all because I didn't want to keep stopping. Marley Frost. Thank you, Marley. Lady D, that will pay legal fee. Oh, thanks, Lady D. Thank you, Key Rays. Thank you, Shimmy Dancer. Shimmy Dancer. Red Rum. The Orient. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. She's only jealous that Zab is a girl who's paying attention to her, man. Thank you, Stella. Stella Blue. Thank you. Yeah. She's trying to instigate to give her. Fuck. Wait. Is that Fun Lady or Fox Lady? Oh, no. Fun Lady. Thank you, Fun Lady. Thank you, guys. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> hey, that, that part's not my fault. That's not your fault, baby. <laughs> That's not your fault at all. Um, but yeah, I have a feeling these calls are coming out. And um, 
And for all of you people listening to this call, you're going to hear this one. I do love him, and you guys are all fucked up and wrong. And so, yeah. Um, and I do love yeah, her, yeah. and anyone who tries to touch her is going to have to deal with me. Yep. So, you know. And no, those are not physical threats, because I don't want you guys insinuating that they are, because you know that they're all going to think that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, they yeah. are. That's okay, because um, the attorneys will take care of it, so I'm not going to worry. But she'll be in a lot of trouble. But anyway, I love you and I miss you. <laughs> I love you and I miss you, baby girl. Thank you for sending that to me this morning. When I saw the song, I know that song and I love that song. You have song one minute left. It. Oh, friggin, there's Blady again. All right, I'm going to save that part of the conversation because there's something very interesting about what you said to me. Um, but you can still talk, right? Of course, baby girl. Did you I get any talk sleep? Talk lunch. Yes, I got plenty of sleep, baby girl. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> Yay, I'm the, glad. When I see the early the morning visual. text, I know that you tell me that they make you get up at four for breakfast, I think. But Yeah, tablets come on at five, so, you know, I don't have to wait too long. So good. I hope you got some sleep after you sent me that. Of course. I got some sleep before, too. Oh, good. Good. Well, that makes me happy. How do you feel today? Is your, are you still all measly? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, baby. I want to make you feel better. I love you. <laughs> I love you, baby girl. So, yeah, when this disconnects, call me, and then I will continue with what I was saying. Don't, yeah. don't forget about Bruno Mars. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for using... Secure. Right Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from... Hey, baby girl. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, not much. Just talking to my beautiful one and only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry about that. You know that I would never hurt you. I, I know. Won't. After everything she did last night, and then that's more... I know, I know. I know. She's talking about JoJo because of. So I don't know how. Like, I wish I had the freaking call log so I could know exactly. Uh, but yeah. So sorry. Like, the phone. I don't know what the log. Than you hey, you could have asked the guy beside. They kept forcing us to hang up for some reason. It literally goes silent, like dead, and then it just click. I had to finish yeah. telling her everything you accomplished today. Mm -hmm. If I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself if I hadn't made sure that she was fully aware that this is where I stand. Behind you, mm -hmm. in front of you, on every side of you. Yeah. Yeah. I love you um, so much, baby girl. I love you too. I put, you know, really, really worked hard today. I mean, it was hours of conversing yeah. with this person I hate and then it's like yeah I mean no, it wasn't. Like, I was trying to call Nolan and I, tried, I couldn't get a hold of him I tried several times I tried to call my dad I tried to call my mom I had to figure out my commissary order as well I'm <laughs> hang on I'm making excuses I'm sorry I'm here now let's talk okay baby girl mm -hmm. yeah I'm not going to make yeah. excuses. I shouldn't be trying to. I'm so, so sorry, baby girl. I should have... Okay. I should have put all that on hold for you. I'm sorry. No. Well, no, your family, I mean, I totally get that. But, you know... It's different. You know, I wouldn't tell you to put your family aside. <laughs> but to, to know that it was that woman that you called that I know. caused what you caused. That was really important. I you that I would have texted her everything you texted me if I had been able to call you first. I promise. I would have asked. I should have asked if it was all right. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But I'm here now. What do you want to yeah. talk about, huh? I don't know. I went through a lot of stuff today. I mean, I don't... <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't you tell me about it? Well, um... I went back and forth with that girl um, yep. to, to compromise with her. Um, and I made it happen. I made everything happen. How, how um, did you do that anyway? I am rather curious myself. Because of my personality. Ah. That's why. 
Um, and at the end of it all, Boy. she felt really guilty because I, she yeah, thought she that should. I am a kind guilty. person, and um, I told her my feelings on what's going on, and she said that she has like a couple more that were from prior to that. She yeah. did that, but she said after those are done, she says she's like I, she's like tough all. I'm not going to air any more of his calls. Real quick, uh, mm-hmm. be careful because. The one thing I know about media, you can never trust them. You can never. I told her I'm not discussing the case with her. Straight up, I said I am yeah. not discussing the case with you. you. Try to ask questions. No, no. Because nope. I straight up told her I said I'm not going to discuss the case with you. I said what I'm going to tell you. I mean, I can read you the whole thing. Actually, it's really long though. But basically, yeah. um, well, you know, I told put that a, put that save that for later. I mean, for the most part, though, I just want to tell you that the way that I made it happen to answer your question was, you know, I told her, I said, listen, I said, I think there's a big part of this, I said, that you're missing. And yeah, she had, it'll add that everybody's said, missing. And I said to her, I said, you know, you sit here and you say that you care about G and you care about people involved. I said, well, let me ask you this. I said, um, you're sitting here defending it, saying that children shouldn't be watching your podcast. I said, but the thing you're not understanding I said, is that there are adults around children. I said, in adult talk. I said, whether it be in school, whether it be wherever. I said, and I said, first of all, I said, as far as G's concerned, I said, that's my biggest concern. I said, because that poor child has a lot going on. I said, and then as far as my daughter's concerned. And they both have. Exactly. And I told her that. And I said, you know, I said, I'm not asking you to do anything or any favors for me. I said, but you know what? I said, think about the kids. Think about the kids. Think about the family. Think about the kids. Yeah. And it's, while, and then um, she yeah. kept me back like 15 minutes later. And then she um, told me that um, she says, just so that, you know, she says, I'm editing everything out right now. Any photo she's going to blur out. She's going to remove Randy's information and photos and his Facebook page. She said it was already yeah. done. She said, right. so she said, um, she had my word. She says, I give you my word that I will no longer air any of the phone calls. She says, and I will not play anything between you and Paul. She says, I understand. Cause I told her, I said, you know, there's personal. And-, and I explained that because there wasn't any, I didn't have any between her and Paul. And when I was talking to her, I didn't realize that chunk in between. And I knew the prison calls weren't available. So. It's like, well, I don't have any anyway. Yeah, I won't air any. Um, and then you guys made me realize there's that little week and a half that were he still was in jail. So um, because I got him in two separate things. I got the before sentence and then I got that just recently. What last week I got these ones. So um, and I did. I went back and I edited out Randy's stuff, the Facebook stuff, because and I told you, actually, if you go back in a live, you'll hear me say that I edited it out. Um, and uh, and then try to see if I miss names to redact for, like, YouTube privacy stuff. So that's what she's talking about. Man, I got a pee so bad, but I don't want to leave. The conversations that are between me and him. And I said, and that's not for the world to hear. Nothing for and said, doors in my ears only. And I told her, I said, imagine if this was your family. I said, imagine yeah. if this was your family, how would you feel? And I said, keep the children safe. I said, keep and children. start. That's what I told her. So, um, and then she, she um, to the heart she, of it and touched it. Oh, she, she wants to interview me. And I told her, I said, well, you know what? I said, even if you interviewed me, I said, you probably wouldn't even like my interview. I said, because I'm not going to discuss the case with you. I said, if you want to ask me questions like you know that has nothing to do with it i said but that's not going to get you any fans now is it and then that just kind of boom shut that no, down that didn't shut it down i still wanted to interview her that didn't mi- no i was like i still want to interview her i did and we tried i asked and she then she turned her back on it it had nothing to do with her saying she's not talking about the case because we wanted to know if she don't want to talk about the case i wanted to know okay how did you meet paul because at that time i didn't know how she met him um you know i didn't know a lot of the stuff that i know now um and so it wasn't that she said that and i just said oh okay i'm not interested no i s- still was interested <laughs> like remember i mean we talked about it to you i was like i really well, yeah we want to try to get an interview it would be good right um so yeah that's not true right there 
Um, Do you think but I told her, when you know? we're ready, she would be willing to help us out with sending out our uh, the news on our marriage? Well, she told me, she said, um, she says, am I allowed to say that he's with someone and that he's in a relationship? And I said, well, I said, that has nothing to do with the case. I said, I told you I don't want anything discussed about the case. I said, but you are not. To say. I said, if you do say something, I told her, I said, you are not to say my name. Um, none of that. I said, you know, I said, um, because I have a child, too. Yeah. So, so she said that. She said, she's like, you know, she said, I'm in it. And she said she's going to actually, because she feels so bad, I made her feel so bad, that she's going to actually speak to me it's kind of through the video and apologize for upsetting people, for upsetting me. Um, okay, I gotta cl- she that, says, and I'm not discrediting well, anything you're saying. That's not completely accurate. Um, she's like, can you tell them that, that I got you to change your mind about the harassment stuff? She was talking about like editing Randy's out, Randy stuff out. And uh, like, like I said, I was talking to a family member and they said they were getting harassed. Uh, the stepkids and all the kids were getting harassed. So I knew it was true. And um, she said, can you say that, you know, I got you to change your mind? And I said, but you didn't. I'm not for harassment. Like anytime I hear that, it makes me so mad. Like I don't promote harassment and that makes me mad. So you didn't really get me to change my mind. I will tell them because I didn't realize all these people were getting harassed. So I will tell them. So I, that made me laugh when she acted like I was giving her like a secret. No, I said, no, I will tell them because I hate that. I hate when people get harassed, wish people didn't go out and go real life on people. So I was like, no. You didn't change my mind. I don't, I don't like that. No, I will tell them, you know, do not harass them. I didn't realize that the, everybody was getting so harassed, like the family members, the stepkids, Randy, I didn't know. So there was no secret thing. So I don't know where she got, <laughs> where she got that. Like it was like a secret apology. <laughs> no, she did ask me if I could. And I said, yeah, but I feel the same way. You didn't change my mind on that that part yeah if they're getting harassed then yeah i need to talk to the, the viewers and then i did that video and i'm sure you guys remember i said please do not harass them you know because i had the family member also saying the same thing they're like the all these step kids are getting harassed they're being called evil and hit like monsters and murderers and these are like the step kids and all just like extended family and it's like so so I was like, I understood. And I'm like, yeah, you don't have to convince me. Like, I, you're not changing my mind. This is how I feel as far as the harassment. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. You guys know from the past, I never condone it. I've, you know, randomly throughout as I'm covering cases, I'll say, like, please don't harass them. Because I want to be able to discuss this and not have to worry about people going real life. I want to be able to discuss cases. That's just one of the biggest things that bothers me. So, like I said, when she asked me about that, that's what it was. That's what she asked me to, to say that I made her realize about that stuff. And I was like, okay, but I feel like that anyway. You didn't like change my heart in that. Like that is something that I do not like. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go pee real quick. The phone was right. In front of me. <laughs> you ever do that when you're, have you ever like be holding your phone and you're like, where's <laughs> oh my lord this is one of those days i can't talk good though those of you that have been following me you know i get these days i hate that it almost sounds like i i can't even speak oh some days I'm, i could speak pretty good and then some days i can't even form good sentences anyway all right so what do you guys think so far and then i think they all realized i think you know how like originally they were thinking i was getting them like the uh phone calls was i was getting them illegally or like paying somebody off i think they all looked into it realized it was all legal it was all through foia all completely legal and you know i think they all realize that now but at the time <laughs> they were saying well you heard some of those past phone calls were i think right it's not on this one i think it's on either one part one or two or maybe three um where uh <laughs> they, she thought I was like paying off a guard or she even mentioned something about me like sleeping with a guard or whatever it's like no these are completely legal <laughs> it's FOIA you just have to pay a fee uh, it depends though some counties they do free but nowadays more of them are making you pay so for these I had to pay um, I don't know I think the, wit the more that the true crime community is growing and more 
people making requ requests, I think they're going to start charging all the time. Is, I don't know. I could be wrong, but um, so yeah, they know now. But but the redacting is for YouTube policy because just because it's legal doesn't mean that YouTube doesn't have policy. So I know I keep repeating that, but there are new people that are you know coming in, and I do keep seeing people say that in comments. So I just wanted to say it a few times so people know. Thing she said because I told her straight up. I said, "What you're post posting on there?" I said, "That's not who he is." I said, and so I said, "That's where I get angry." I said, "Aside from the children," I said, "You're misinformed." And she said, "Well, she's like that's why I want to interview you to know who he really is as a person." And I says, "Well, I said at this time, no." I said, "In anything going forward, I said I'm going to discuss with Paul, and then he's yep. the one who makes the final you know decision." If you so. want to talk to her. You can, but like, I'm only talking if you I don't want her. to talk to her about the case, that's your nope. choice. I don't think I should. Not right now. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave that decision to you. Yes, your because opinion you're... matters just as much as my own. If you don't want because to talk it's... to her right now, then don't. Okay. Well, it's it's more about what is best for you. I don't know. You know. Yeah. I mean, that's it's really up to you. It's not up to me. It's up to you. What you yeah. want, because. You have to make that choice. I mean, do I think it could benefit it? Yeah. I think that I could, that I have a way of speaking that people will start to say, huh, you know, because I'm not a stupid person. I, I speak very intellectually well when I need to and, you know, you know how to play the part, um, you know, but, you know, I don't know what you would want me to say or not say, um, you know, um, I told, she said, um, she's like, well, can you tell me? you know, how you guys fell in love. And I said, no, that's none of your business. I said, we're together. I said, and that's all you need to know. Yep. And I said, you know, and then I said to her, I said, because she says, wait, hold on one second. So, um, you know, basically, um, I told her, I said, you know, that's none of your business. I said, it's nobody's business. Um, I said, but I will tell you this. I said, I'm his soldier. I said, and I will be going forward. I said, so. You're my angel with a shotgun, baby girl. You know, so, and so, yeah, so that's why I was annoyed that you called the other one. Like, ew. I, like, I she know, didn't I'm send so me an sorry. apology. She didn't send me no apology. So, you know what? Jojo. He's talking about, she's talking about Jojo when she says the other one. Um, because they just have this thing because of how it started out where Jojo you know, put a thought into Paul's head about her, you know, not being in it for the real reasons. Like I said, actually thinking that I sent her, just like they thought I sent those, I guess there's three girls at the sentence. If you guys heard uh, the post sentence, Jojo and uh, <laughs> Randy cause. So they both mention it thinking that I sent people to the sentence to basically harass them. <laughs> no, I don't. They got me all wrong. Like, I'm not sneaky, like, as far as, ooh, ghost. But anyway, so JoJo thought that I sent her to get information from Paul. Uh, and so they have this thing where now she's kind of upset because, you know, Paul has it in her head. And then, yeah. I know, like I said, I keep saying that. I, I still can't find... I know a lot of you guys are asking about the call when that happens. Like I said, I'm going through them and I listened to them all so quick. So maybe I missed it with her, him and Jojo, where she says that, but I don't remember having that one. But if I do, I'll let you know. So I'm saying it's weird how the jail, like they pick and choose which one. I don't know how they pick which ones. I think they just pick some or whatever because obviously those pre-sentence calls, those couldn't have been a year and a half worth of calls for uh, Shonda and Paul. That should I requested for both of them. There's no way. I mean, you guys saw. I mean, there was a lot, but there's no way that was a year and a half. So I don't know how they cho chose which ones to send. I have no idea how they do that. About that, but I'm you know so what? You shouldn't even have to. Her all of this about you She's old enough to be it. my mother, so you know what? She should know better. Yeah, she should know better. Uh, I'll send um, her a text as soon as well, as soon as I can. But for right so now, so what did you say to her? My beautiful wife. Uh, yeah. As I okay. said through text just a minute ago, I literally read off the text to her. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe not the exact, but you know, the gist of, hey, this is, you know, she did this, she did this, she did this, she did this. But and what'd she say? She realized just how wrong she was about you. She apologized and... Did you tell her I even, even though I'm angry with her, I still made sure that they're going to blur her face out and all that stuff and Facebook pages and everything? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, girl. And um, I also told her that, you know, when you were going on into all that, those dark places last night, um, I wanted to tell you this in person, but it, it put this tight terror in my chest. And that mm-hmm. tight terror made me realize that I don't, that was one of the reasons, one of the other reasons that I wanted to block her to block me at that point. was because I didn't want to ever feel that tight, terrible pain again. It scared yeah. me so bad. And words can't express how sorry I am for what I did, did last night. They cannot. They never will be able to. But I know. I was shocked. I, was, I know, baby. No, and it, I know. And I know I want to talk about everything, too, but we do need to talk about it. And, you know, yeah, you're right. when when I got that, I remember I was, like, you know, obviously here and um, here at work. And I was like, no fucking way. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, <laughs> I was like, how on earth? It was over. I, I did explain this. I'll try to I'll explain it again. I hope people like <laughs> keep repeating it. But it was over. JoJo saw it that she was sent there by me to get information from Paul, from Paul. So basically was sent there with ill intent, you know, and he, she told Paul that Jojo, and then Paul got it in his head and questioned her, like thinking like, you know, almost like believing Jojo for a minute and it got him into an argument. That's what this whole thing's about. And I would love to interview Jojo too. I mean, we want information, right? But I, there's no way she would do an interview with me. I don't think if anybody could get her to do an interview, <laughs> I doubt she would. But I mean, really, I don't know. What would we ask her, Jojo? I mean, I don't know. You know, like you can't tell a woman that you love her and then take another woman's word over your woman that you claim to love. Like, that's why I said, you know, I like that. Looking Maybe you're in with me. <laughs> the biggest thing, uh, the biggest question I'm continuously asking myself, what the fuck was I thinking? I don't know, but I it was very, it. very hurtful, and, um... And I will spend the rest of my life with you, making up for it in every way possible, I promise you, the girl. I mean, I still, even though I was upset, I still did what I did this morning, and... You know, and um, and that's why I told you, you know, these people are, are going to accuse me, these friends of yours are going to accuse me of being something bad. That's why I was like, you know what, tell them to watch the videos tomorrow um, because that stuff will be gone. Um, you know, it's like... Like I said, I just freaking hit our one minute thing. I really hate that we can't continue talking on and on. I just, the 15 minute thing is pathetic. Yeah, well, when this calls back, um, I want to finish what I have to say, and then of course we'll go from there. And um, yep. you know, that's all um, we can do is. Like I said, she's smart. talking about the. Well, watch the videos; they'll be gone. Because I said I would edit the part out with Randy. I said if there was any kids' names, I would edit stuff out. I would try to go through. You know, I have a lot of videos up in live, so I said I'll try to go through as many as I can to try to redact if names, if I miss names and stuff like that. That you know. That aren't known people that aren't known in the case you know family some of the family that's already a part of the case because they're in the trot like trial we know some of the stuff that, i mean then what everybody that has the trial plan has to edit you know what i'm saying so no but some of the people that people don't know and it's not out there i said you know i'll try to redact some stuff so that's what she's talking about mistakes i suppose learn from what we did wrong and be better make better choices yeah but there's something more to tell you i you love know? you baby girl I love you. i'll talk to you in a moment once uh, I, okay yeah. well, thank you for using securus goodbye. goodbye hello this is a prepaid collect call from hello hey baby i hope i wasn't upsetting you No, not at all. You didn't upset me. I was so aggravated that I got out of here just now because 
the girl came in late. Some guy came in and decided to pay with fucking cash after I closed out everything. So I had to yeah. like do to redo like, all my reports. Can you hear me? I can hear you, baby girl. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm gonna actually see you speak on my phone. Okay, can I? Can you hear me now? Yep, I can still hear you, baby girl. Okay. Hey, oh. I'm here too. You know that. Uh, I know, baby. Also call me, baby girl. Yeah, I was very um, stressed out. I'm sorry, I'm late. You're okay, baby girl. I know, but now we have less time, and that makes me sad. I know, baby. So. But we'll, we'll work with what we got. We always I know. Do. Okay, cool. And I up I up the uh, minutes on our thing too, so we're good. I was gonna plug my yeah. phone in to charger. I'm here though. I'm just I'm in my car. I'm just getting my stuff like in order here. Um, yeah. hold on, let me just try to plug it in. So what do you do, sweetheart? I'm uh, just sitting here talking to the most gorgeous wife in the world. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. So, so much. I hope you didn't think I was blowing you off. I was like, you no. probably need some phone calls. I was, you know, you know anxious because you weren't even responding. But did I think you were blowing me off? No. So anyway, baby, I'm so glad you're on the phone. <laughs> I am. I am. Um, I am too, baby girl. Hopefully you can I never find thought... an empty lot pretty quickly. And I think we're both dying for this, baby girl. I just like, oh, I was so stressed because like, I never thought 20 minutes would be so much. I know, I gotta just, whew, I gotta breathe. <laughs> it was just, it was a crazy ending to my night and I never found a plunger. So the guy with the red eyes never got his toilet plunged. Um, so <laughs> I was just like, you know, anything else happened at the last hour of my night? Like, no, you know? So anyhow, so now I'm driving. <laughs> Now yeah. I'm driving, yeah. and how cold is it here? It's 54 degrees. I don't know what the weather's like there. What is the weather like there? I don't know what it's like outside, but I know my cell is hot and humid. Yeah, and you, you don't feel good. Did you get any meds? Uh, medication? No. Oh. I see, I want to take care of you. I wish I was coming home to you right now to take care of you. and I Yeah, get, make uh, some. <laughs> I get... I order Benadryl off the commissary. It's both a decongestant and it helps, you know, sleep. I know. Is it like, <laughs> is it like walls or jail, like metal? What is it in your room? Like, can you see, like, it's the next person's thing or is it an actual wall? Uh, it's mostly walls. There's a small window that's, uh, small. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You probably, uh, probably no wider than, um, I don't even know wh what I described that as. Jeez. So, like, and you don't get to go outside, you told me. You don't get to go outside, Babe, no. We need a miracle. We need a fucking miracle. Seriously. I, I want a miracle for us. I know, baby. You know? I know? I do too, baby. So bad. <laughs> I really, really do. It is like, it's frustrating. And like I said, I never thought that 20 minutes of my time would be so precious, you know? And I'm telling you, it was, I was like ready to just explode because I have a part of me that has a really bad temper, but I really try to like, you know, you know keep if, it. If words day. don't <laughs> work, you know, if words don't work for me, if my words and glue yeah. don't work, I don't want to oh, be forceful, but. <laughs> if I have to, you know I will I will protect you. And I'll protect you. Absolutely. And so yeah, we need to um we need to figure something out because I don't like this distance. I don't like any of it. I just I don't think you back. I know. <sighs> All right. I, I'm like not parked in a very good spot right now. Um this neighborhood sucks actually because it's a bunch of like um condominiums, so it's like fucking buildings everywhere. I mean, it's stupid. Yeah. I might actually... I know, I'm going to park around on the other side. But anyway, I'm sorry. I'm all stressed out. I'm sorry. Well, hey, baby. <laughs> hey, hey. You're taking my advice from earlier and you're venting to me. Did you realize that? Oh, yeah. I am venting. <laughs> I'm definitely venting. Do you feel like right, I'm going to park you, baby girl? Yeah. I just wish I was coming home to you. 
that's what I wish. Oh, trust me. I choose. I see the way your your anxiety and anger with more than just words, baby girl. Yeah, I just I just want to have my life what I want it to be. I'm gonna turn my car off, so hopefully, okay. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you, baby girl. All right, cool. All right, yeah. So no, I I just I just want to like for once in my life have something go the way I want it to go, and yeah. I'm really sad because I just I just want to be able to come home to you, and I can't. Yeah, I know. Soon, soon, baby girl. I know. I know. So, um, no, I wasn't blowing you off. I wasn't giving any. Yeah, you have my phone. I believe. I believe that strongly. You know I do, baby. Why is it? You've never given me any reason. Not Are you guys to hearing not that? I believe you have. You. No, I'll never lie to you. Ever. Never, never. You know. So what? Why is it sounding like that? Do you guys hear that? Dang it. It wasn't sounding like that when I edited it. It's like... What the heck, dude? Hold on. Yeah, I don't know why. No, it's like a cut. It's really bad. It's like... Shoot. Let me see here. That's going to get really annoying. If that keeps doing it, that's not going to be easy to listen to. Trust me. I mean, we're... Almost done, but I don't think I could even take five minutes of that. There'd be no reason for me to not believe what you're saying is the truth. Okay, it's good. Exactly. I Maybe adore you. I do. I adore you. I would okay. never lie to you. I mean, I, I, I'm i all about honesty. I mean, I would mm -hmm. tell you something even if it, you know, I knew it would bother you. I would not tell you. Like, because I feel like yeah. not just looking also lying. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. some people... Well, if you don't say anything, then it's really not lying. No, if you don't say anything and you know that there's something that's off, to me, that's lying. <laughs> you know? Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... Hey, beautiful. Hi. No, um, I don't need to talk about this negative stuff, but we didn't have a chance. This is what my plan was for tonight. I'm going to be honest with you. This was my plan. My plan was, I was like, okay, he's going to call me at 6. And we'll talk about all this stuff then, and then we'll have the rest of the night just to be happy. And now it's eleven thirty, and <laughs> you know why? Why don't we? Why don't we both flush out our systems of this negativity? Because I don't know if it's going to bother me to the point where it's going to always be a problem. If if it bothers you, you know you can tell me, it, girl, and I will always be there to reassure you. I know, but I. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Smoking a joint. Yep. Um, no, um, like, I, I have, like, basically, I am mentally exhausted. You know what happened to me last year? I got, oh, um, boy. I had, um, the shingle from stress. From stress. Oh, I'm so and sorry about that, baby girl. And my doctor, as soon as he saw it, he knew right away. He told me, because my doctor knows everything about me. And yeah. I told him, he said to me, he says, you need to somehow find some sort of peace. He says, because you are going to make yourself sick. He said, you have heart disease in your family. He said, in your smoking still, he's like, you're going to make yourself sick. He's not kill yourself. Um, yeah. He says, you need to learn to, you know, just be calm and just have positivity and I tried telling him I'm like how do I have positivity I don't have anybody out here like no one um you know like, you have me now baby girl but I don't know if I'm gonna be okay with this friendship with you and her it could be to the point where I don't know like if I yeah. can be with you you're talking to her somebody that's gonna talk bad about me I, I just to me that is disrespecting me by not basically being my soldier as I've been for you, you know? I promise you, from this moment on, anyone who talks bad to you, whether it's an inmate in here or a contact I have, even my own family, I will defend you. No, it's just you like... have my word, baby girl. And you know, if this appeal yeah. goes through and it works, then I suppose that there's no more need to talk to Joe, right? She played her part. She helped us out. Yeah. But now, in order to protect the relationship I value most. Did you guys hear that? 
that's one point I wanted to point out. And I had all these other points, all the red stuff, and I forgot to point them out. Like things, I mean, there's not a ton, but there's stuff I wanted to. Anyway, did you just hear what he said? Which is kind of messed up. So basically, that part made me really mad. It made me really mad. So he says, well, if the appeal goes through, I basically, if the appeal goes through, he has no need for JoJo anymore. Her, her, her part is done. So what I got from it, I'm going to rewind it again so you guys could hear. That's messed up. My word, baby girl. And you know, if this appeal yeah. goes through and it works, then I suppose that there's no more need to talk to Joe. Right? She played her part. She helped us out. Yeah. But now, in order to protect the relationship I value most, I will cut her out. I just, I don't know if I can hack it. I, my mind, I'm not being a bitch. I just don't mentally. No, no, I get it, baby girl. I do. Is she I want you to know that it's, it's always been hard for me finding love. And even when I thought I had it, I was always afraid to lose it. I was afraid that I would do something wrong. Yeah. And I did do something wrong, and I'm, I can't take it back. I can only work hard to make it better. To replace that negativity with positivity, baby girl. I just want to be back at that 100%, 110% trust that I felt with you. Like, I'm, I feel I like a lonely right now, and it sucks because I'm, like, waiting for the other shoe to fall, you know? Like, is this, like, I'm waiting for her to say the one next thing that's just going to, I thought that's what happened tonight. I mean, to be honest with you, the way that my triggers work in my mind with my PTSD, yeah. um, that very, very bad PTSD from shit that I've been through, um, that was the first thing I thought. I was like, okay, it's nine o'clock. I haven't heard from him. Um, I've been so texting you for through. a little while after I got off the phone with her, trying to. Did you not get any of the texts till nine? Um, well, no, I'm talking about like when we first actually got to talk, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. But, so, like, I was just kind of like, I immediately, because of my past, I immediately went to, I'm like, okay, this is the beginning of the end now because he's already listening to another woman instead of me who claims he's in love with me, but yet if he was in girl, love with me. Baby girl, baby girl, <laughs> breathe, breathe. You want to know a quote that I said to that girl? Just to show you how much I defend you, I yeah. told her, if it comes to the people that I love, which are very few people, I said, I become the lioness. I said, and I will protect and go to any extreme to protect the people that I love. And I said, and that's Paul and my daughter. I said, and I said, there's no one that I would be afraid of, including you. I said, as far as having to take legal action now that we have this via email, this agreement that we've made. And, and I said, you do realize that? And she said, yes. And I said, okay. And it was, um, it's, it's time that the cub I once was stops acting like he is still and acknowledge that he's a lion. Okay, baby girl. I am your lion. But you have to trust me. If you don't trust I, me, there's no... I trust what you 110%. I promise you. I know you don't trust me like that right now, but I hope you'll give me the time to regain that trust. And the way that that's going to happen is fine. Is, is if you have to use this lady, and she better have an attorney because you're telling me this is set, and I put myself on hold because I was, I, you know how many attorneys I spoke to? I, like I said, I wish I could Snapchat, snapshot stuff for you. I, yeah. I have seen with over, like, what was it, 17 attorneys I've discussed your case with via email. Yeah. Like, I, I am fighting for you and your freedom and for our love so hard. And if it's not I'm that being I'm, honest, it's always better to be safe than sorry, baby girl. Maybe keep, keep, keep at it. Because you know? for all we know, this attorney may say no. You know, and how am I supposed to move there and be with you if I have to worry about it? Just one person says something that you don't like that maybe you're not going to trust me like that. Think about how I would feel. I'd be in Michigan 
I know. I know, baby. At all. Like, I wouldn't have one friend, nothing. Hey, and hey, hey, I promise you, on my life, on my family's lives, this was a one-time occurrence. I will never let it happen again. And you'll cut you, her out of your life, son, when we know the verdict is of everything. When this is done, I won't ever talk to her again. You have yeah. my word, baby girl. I mean, that's like putting, like, battery acid in our love, and that fucked up. Like, not I know. You, like, I'm not even... So, yeah, he just said it again. When this is done... Well, let me rewind it a minute here. You, You're out of your life, son, when we know what the verdict is of everything. When this is done, I won't ever talk to her again. You have yep. my word, baby girl. I mean, that's like putting, like, battery acid in our love, and that fucked up. Like, not I know. you, like... I'm not even mad. That's the thing, too, I want to explain to you. This isn't me being mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm hurt. I get that. I get that, baby girl. And part of that was me. Part of that was me for being stupid and foolish enough to let her words affect me. I won't let it happen again. Like she and as I said, one foul word from her directed towards you is all it will take for me to, con to cease contact immediately. But yes, as soon as this appeal is done and over with, I won't talk to her. Okay. She's been a good friend, but I won't let her hurt you. I won't let her hurt us. What she's doing is not being a good friend. And, no, and you know, it's not, you baby girl. What you need is a, is someone who understands you and accepts you. I do both of those. Who loves you for who you are. Yeah, I mean, I know I probably sound crazy sometimes, but you know what? At least my feelings for you, they're 100% true. And for anybody to even put something in your head that would make that not be true, you're the reason that I'm alive right now and actually feeling alive. I was just this dead soul baby in darkness girl. fucking going oh. through life. and Baby girl, I'm I know that it may take time, whether it's now or a while from now. Do you think that you can forgive me for this? Of if course. it'll take a while, just be honest. No, I'll I will be fine. accept that. I'm not mad, and it's not about forgiveness. Now I'm just scared that you're going to leave like everyone else. That's what it is. I have abandonment issues. That's my biggest. So issue. do I. So do I, baby girl. That's my number one problem: is abandonment issues. And my mother. I don't know how many people know this, but. After we were taken by a DHS, I read it in the police I'm report. I'm on doing shorts. Or the DHS files that were in my police report. Shonda just wanted my dad to undo his vasectomy so that they could just have yep. more kids. Yep. She wanted to replace us. She did. That's so weird. That's she so did. twisted. It is. I never realized just how twisted she was until I read all of this, until I realized, until common sense smack me in the head in the face I That's won't why. I won't let anyone poison my life or yours or our life together anymore I mean baby I'm willing to stay with you even if you're in jail and till the fucking day you die I'm so willing to, to, to love you you know I promise you that if I can figure out how to get myself transferred down there I will and I will let you know the moment I'm certain that I can be transferred down there. But if I'm not 100% certain, I hope you know that I won't tell you because I don't want there to be some chance that I'm not able to. Well, it's not And I've gotten your hopes up for nothing because that would be foolish of me. That would hurt you. That would hurt us. Like, that's why I'm so glad you got to listen to him and I, because that song, that that's how I look at our that's, love. That's us. That is right. us. You know? I love like, you so, so much, baby girl. Like, no matter what, like he says in the song, you know, talking about having all this money, and then if he was down, to, you know, to 10 cents, you know, she'd be down for whatever. Um, never got to convince. It's all about just having that ride or die love. And Ride or die, baby girl. Ride or die forever. The world can go fuck themselves. <laughs> the world up. can go fuck themselves. Exactly. That's, 
that's the mentality I've learned to take on. And you want to know something, Paul? I, for years, was when it came to, like, even my family, I still thought, like, I had to respect them and this and that. And then yeah. these past two years of doing online, like, I actually have, like, mentors, family, life, well, not family, life coaches that built, that was strictly based on toxic, like, people like us that have only I've, I've, uh, I get that whole, you know, feeling like you have to respect them. I always felt I had to respect my dad. Hell, I, I mean, did respect him out of fear. I was yes, constantly but, terrified of him. But it was, it was my top three life coaches, right? That taught mm-hmm. me something so important in my life. Well, thank you, Evelyn. Um, um, Zavgar, I don't understand why people harass the surviving family of the f- friends of the convict. Honestly, do people really have time in their lives to be doing all that? Has it ever been proven? No, it happens. It does happen. And I do, I mean, I believe the f- the family member that said that. So yeah, I think it is happening because I know how people can be and it does happen with other cases too. I don't know. Like if you... I don't know the percentage of it. I hope it's, I hope people stop doing that or it's like, it's not a ton of people. I don't know, but I know it happens with cases. I just don't know. Maybe some cases it happens more than others, but thanks Carolina, Nicole. And I'm planning on doing some highlights. That's what I like shorts or highlights for this. Like I've been doing, you know, I'd like to even do more, but I'm trying to edit these long ones and then do the highlights. But no, I do. I was planning on doing that one. That's why all the ones I have read, I want to for sure do highlights or shorts or whatever so yeah i just messed up i can't believe because jojo has been a good friend like i don't feel like jojo has any ill intent with him just from the phone calls it seems like she just is does want to be a good friend from what i hear what i could hear but you can only hear so much from phone calls so for him to just be like oh when the appeal is done i'm just gonna you know she said she did hers i'm just gonna you know she did her job i'm done so he says it a couple times so i'm gonna try to like clip it all into one uh, depending if it's under a minute, I can make it as a short. So we'll figure it out. But no, I plan on that was one I definitely plan on doing. Like the ones where it's really important for kind of showing who Paul is. I feel like those are the ones I'm, I'm making highlights at. No, Jojo, just give him a support because he had none. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. I don't think. Did you misunderstand me? Yeah, I was saying I don't think she had. I think it was just no ill intentions no i mean none i think that her she had good intentions like i think she was just trying to help somebody that she felt bad for you know and just to be a friend that's kind of what how i felt listening to the calls i know some people could disagree and that's fine but that's that's the impression i got maybe patty's correct jen knows jojo will speak truth to paul yeah all aside this lady has made everything okay we're almost done guys um like that's the life I live. I never, I never really like had that. that. I'd say, but it was always. I never truly felt loved by my family. My dad and stepmother never understood me. Well, I hear the. I had all these abnormal normal. talents that they didn't get. They didn't understand my ability to write with immense creativity. I'm pretty were- sure my stepmother once burned one of my manuscripts right in front of me. If you are smart, I see an intelligence in you. Let me tell you something. You know what turns me off? Something that turns... I wouldn't have known this until we spoke. Something that turns me off is ignorance. And you speak so eloquently. You even are really good-mannered with... I mean, you swear sometimes... You have one minute left. Oh, God. Um, Ignorance is not bliss. That's for sure. But no, you you are intelligent, you're smart, um, and that is the reason that we're in this mess. You know what? I don't care because the mess is what it is. 
Um, yeah. And I'm not saying that you should have done this, but subliminally to you, know that in my brain, dude, knowing this case, I would tell anyone, you know what? Play fucking dumb. Play dumb. Play ignorant, you know? Okay. And you're smart and you were intelligent and you told the fucking truth, you know? Yeah. And... And so it's like street smarts, man. I'm going to teach you some really, really good street smarts <laughs> when I get you out of there. Yep. Um, yeah, I know we're going to get caught. Do you want to use our last uh, Thank call you for using to relax? Secure it. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, so that is what do you guys think. Oh, I forgot. I got to go like this to move it so we could. I'm not off to the side here. Hold on. Here, I'll be small. So what do you think? Good, I could look straight ahead. So when I share this screen, like the whole screen, because I have to do it with the editor, I can't see chat on it, so I have to turn my head <laughs> to see it. And so I'm glad now I could oh, look here. Anyway, um, so I do feel like some of the stuff I, I think was, he was being honest about his dad and feeling not feeling love from his family. I believe that he was, that's probably how he felt. I'm afraid of his dad. I would like to pick his brain on that a little bit because, like, I want to know what, you know, we're trying to figure this guy out, right? Is he a psychopath? Is he, you know, what, what what's going on? So why, I would like to know why he was afraid of his dad so much. Because remember, Jojo asks him if his dad ever hit him, and he said no. So was there really a fear? Or, you know, he said he was just, what, a few minutes ago, I was scared to death of my dad. But why? Because he told Jojo he never hit him, I think. Maybe he, like, smacked, like, whacked him, but, like, not I'm trying to remember exactly how I answered. But I remember getting the impression that there wasn't, like, in a sounded like from what he said, it wasn't, like, abuse type. I don't know. What do you guys think? Why was he so afraid of him? His dad, he's like, I was deathly afraid. Like, he was so scared. Or do you think he was just exaggerating? Yeah, that's true. Controlling. Remember, he said he was so controlling. But I always thought he was speaking through his mom. Like, his, because Shonda was always putting that in his head. So I was, when every time he was in, like, controlling, I was like, he's getting that from Shonda. Maybe. Do you think? Ah, I mean, maybe. Maybe because he thought. He wanted to relate to her. It's possible. I don't know if we'll ever know, really, because what guy is, is that guy? No, from what, like I said, from what I was told by the fiance, and, and this is the only information, I don't know how to figure out who actually uh, filed the appeal. I mean, you can see what lawyer probably signed it or takes, you know, takes a hold of it. But as far as, like, who did it, I don't know. Um, but from what, she told me is that she's the one that ended up doing the paperwork because Randall was trying to go outside of the state and get like, try to look for like a private attorney. It sounds like, and probably it was nothing was probably affordable. And the time was approaching. Maybe he was trying to get people to take it pro bono. Nobody was doing it, whatever. And so what I'm just the messenger. Remember what she said is she talked to his lawyer, Elton, the one that had him for the case. And he, she, he sent him the paperwork. Sent her the paperwork. They got it signed. And somebody, like a public defender, is going to take it. So it'll be just like free, right? Is what I'm, I'm thinking. Instead, I think Randall was going the other route thinking he had to get a private attorney. And it was probably call, it was probably like too expensive and he probably figured. He was probably just searching for somebody that would take it for a good deal or free or pro bono. And he was probably having trouble. Just my guess. That's just my guess, guys, of why it didn't get done from him. If you remember the phone calls and different conversations, it was Randall was having trouble getting his lawyer to call him back, supposedly. Um and he even said, he I think he even told Nolan these were the pre-sentence calls where he's talking about like, yeah, he's not calling him back. Um, maybe even the post sentence one too. I can't remember which calls they were on. Um, and then remember, she he even told the fiance, well, good luck when she wanted to call the lawyer. He's like, well, good luck because Randall and Jojo are having trouble getting him to call me, call them back. So it's like almost like they're under the impression that his old lawyer wasn't going to return calls. So they didn't really try hard to go that route. She, you know what I'm saying? Paul was like, oh, he probably won't call you back. But she called and she said he did. She was able to get a hold of him. So I don't know why Randall wasn't. It's just what I'm being told. 
I'm thinking maybe Randy would try it once and he didn't call him back or something happened and he didn't didn't call him back. And so then Randall's like, oh, he's not going to call back. He, I'm going to have to find somebody else. Maybe there was a mix up in numbers. I mean, who knows what it could have been. But uh, I think he was going more private way, private attorney, and nobody probably wanted to take it for a good price. Is It's just my only guess. What do you guys think? Like I said, this isn't com confirmed. Um, all I know is what she said that it was approaching that time. There's like a week left and it hadn't been, the paperwork had not been turned in. And so they could have just turned it in. And he, like Randall could have just had the paperwork filled out too. And he might not have known that. That's what I'm guessing. Randall maybe didn't know. I don't know how to find out some of the stuff. I don't know. There's no post-sentence calls with them that they released. So they're all with Jojo, Randall, and her. Because, but remember, it's only that week. It's like a week. It's not that much time it's just that week after a sentence or a week and a half or whatever like i said maybe they didn't answer the calls because of them being public and they're seeing them you know get released so they might you know, i don't want i don't want all my calls or maybe they just those are the calls they didn't send me for some reason i don't know why they picked some Maybe they were texting. I mean, obviously they're communicating some way. Maybe they did video calls. I didn't order the video calls. So maybe those will come out. I don't know. Maybe they figured, oh, well, the video calls aren't released. So, but they are because there's somebody else really, you know what I'm saying? So, but maybe they felt safer because they didn't think they were because they hadn't been. So I don't know. I don't have all the answers. You know, I just have what, what I could get as far as the answers I could get from her and the other family member I haven't. But yeah, so the other family member, I don't know. I could ask her if she knows. I don't want to be nosy. Like, wow, is he talking to him? Like, I don't know. I feel weird asking. I'm just guessing that it's probably a video or texting or something. Because they figured, oh, it's just like a week and a half. We don't want these calls out. So we just won't answer. Because there was one call with the fiance where he said, uh, he's like, well, Nolan and, and my step or and my dad, they're not answering my calls or something like that. Or I can't get a hold of them or something. So I'm like, oh, that's probably because of them being not wanting them on on youtube just a guess crime victims rights so we got 129 130 68 so wait where's the appeal here request for appointment of lawyer affidavit and did you see four five four four right here appeal here we go right here four four Request appointment of a lawyer. So I'm hoping it, to, it it makes this screen bigger. That's my goal. So you guys can read it. All right. Um. So we have request description for appointment of a lawyer, affidavit, notice of right to appellate review and request for appointment. Request for appointment of a lawyer, affidavit, attorney. So this is the day after a sentence. This. We have 4-4 four, four right here. And then... The day after a sentence, because it's going down. Oh, Ted Bunny, dude, they all have fans. And here's another thing. When we were doing, uh, which case was it where somebody did uh, like a video on it and it made me look into it about people that women who reach out to uh, murderers and like criminals in prison. And there, it's like the, the psychology behind it. And it was really interesting. Um looking into that there is a thing and there's a certain type of people a type of a woman that does that and it's not that they're at least this type of woman like i said i'm sure there's people that do it for other reasons too but i'm talking just generally the type of women that reach out to criminals and murderers in prison there's a psychology behind it where it's like i wish i wish you just do a video on it because it's been a while since i looked into it but it's yeah i don't know i don't want to misspeak because I want to refresh my memory on that, but there is, there's a certain type of people that do it and there's different reasons that people have done research and they've kind of found like different similarities between women that do it and different reasons. And they, it's like when I read it and looked into it, I'm like, wow, that, yeah, it makes sense. So yeah, maybe we should, because now we're doing this case that could be actually kind of interesting and relevant in a way. Huh? Well, hold on. Now that we're talking, let me just look it up. Why not? Charm, intelligence, a, sol a solid career, all things women typically look for in a partner. But for some women, it's the men locked away in prison who really get their heart thumping. Throughout the years, women have been attracted to men behind bars. In fact, California serial killer Richard Ramirez, a convicted killer 
Charles Manson, along with Northern California killer Scott Peterson, have all received marriage proposals in prison despite their heinous crimes. And with the introduction of prison pen pal websites such as prisonpenpals.com, convictmailbag.com, meetaninmatecut.com, women can communicate easily with prison inmates. In the book Women Who Love Men Who Kill, author Sheila Eisenberg explores this phenomenon. The book contains countless interviews with women, psychiatrists, lawyers, social workers, prison guards, in hopes of shedding light on why women are drawn to men behind bars. The book has been featured in CNN, The Today Show, MSNBC, Good Morning America, and 2020. I had a chance, to ATTN had a chance to interview Eisenberg to talk about her book and interviews with these women. Here's what she had to say. The interview was edited for condensed and clarity. Okay. Where, were there any commonalities you found with the women who had, were attracted to men in prison? The real crux of this whole thing is that these are all women who are damaged. In their earlier lives, they've been abused either by their par parents, their fathers, their first husbands, their boyfriends, whatever. They've been essayed, psychologically, emotionally abused. These are women who've been hurt. And when they're in a relationship with a man in prison, he's in prison. He's not going to hurt you. He can't hurt you. So you're always in a state of control because you're the one who's on the outside. You're free. You go in and you visit him. You can decide whether to accept his collect phone calls. So in a way, even though cons are very manipulative, that's why we call them con men and they are manipulative with the women. It's still up to the women to decide how far she wants to go and she knows she can't be hurt. And every single woman I interviewed had been abused in the past. And that's what I found out. That was the big secret. This is the same stuff I learned about the control thing and about the whole danger, but they know they're safe because they're in prison. So they're not, they're not in danger, you know, and yeah, it's crazy. They came from all different backgrounds, different socioeconomic classes, different levels of education. They were highly educated women. One woman had a PhD and was a college professor. Other women hadn't graduated from high school. Socioeconomic, they were rich women. They were poor women. There were women who were married, women who were single, women with children, women who didn't have children, all kinds of women. The only thing they had in common, which I did notice is a common factor, was there were, there were a lot of Catholic women. The women were generally as they described it, madly in love, desperately in love. They had fallen in love in a way that made them not see the world around them anymore. You know, it all what I call stage one super romantic love. That's the way they saw it. It's the kind of mad, passionate love that makes you lose your appetite. That makes you want to dance and sing. When you first meet someone and you're high as a kite on that person, they all use that language. I'm falling in love. I was blinded by love. I felt like I was falling off a cliff. That was the initial reaction. That high, that capital R, romantic love was kept up during the course of the relationship because the men were in prison, because they could not have a normal life with them. Nobody came home after work and took off his dirty socks and left them on the floor. Nobody said, oh, I forgot to pick up the laundry. Nobody said, you take care of the kids tonight, I'm tired. It was none of the normal give and take of a marriage or a, a living companion relationship. It was always, will there be a lockdown? Will they let me in to see him? What's his lawyer going to say? Will he get paroled? All these dramatic, super dramatic, melodramatic things. And of course, visiting someone in prison where you're surrounded by razor wire and high brick walls and mean-looking guards makes your relationship almost like Cinderella and the Prince. Everybody's out to get you. They're trying to keep you apart. It's very dangerous. It's so romantic. So having relationships with a man in prison like that for a murder is almost like reading a romance novel where you never know what's going to happen next. You never know if they'll let you into the prison or they're on lockdown or what's going to happen. Most of the women I interviewed managed to find a way to rationalize a way to mitigate the crime and excuse it. He didn't really necessarily mean to be that murderer. There was even one woman I interviewed who was a juror on a jury that convicted a guy of murder. And then she went to visit him in prison and fell in love with him. And afterwards she said, you know what? He wasn't really guilty. And I don't know why I convicted him. <laughs> they find ways to excuse the murder. Like one woman, I remember she said he was awkward and when the door hit him in the arm, the gun went off. Another one said his friends were all drinking and doing drugs and he got carried away and he didn't do it, mean to do it. The story is not in my book, but if I was going to write a sequel, this would have been in the book. It was a young woman who this guy murdered her grandmother. 
And for some reason, she started corresponding with him because she wanted to understand what kind of person could murder a defenseless little old lady. And she ended up getting involved with him. And I said to her on the phone, how could you do that? I mean, didn't you feel angry? She said, he's a changed man. He's not the same person he was. That's another big one. He did it, but he's not the same person. He found God, he found religion, or he's sorry. And then it's, how did these women get in contact with these men? Back when I wrote a book, it was published in 1990. There was no internet, so it was pretty organic. The women who got into relationships were generally either women who worked in prisons, guards, or teachers, or lawyers. Some of prison lawyers got involved. There's a girl's famous story, which is about a lawyer who got involved with her client, and she helped him escape. So that was organic. And then there were also pen pals. Somehow, prisoners could get ads in magazines and that women wrote to them. I guess they were lonely or whatever. But now today we have prison pen pal websites and women could go to those websites and find men to communicate with. Unlike the women you interviewed, other women purposely seek out criminals or great nor notoriety. Why do the, you think some women pursue a relationship with men who have committed famous crimes? We live in a society where we have people who are famous for being famous, like the Kardashians. And when I wrote the book, we didn't have people like that. I think the first person like that was Paris Hilton. She was famous for being famous. She didn't do anything. Since then, we've had a whole slew of people who are famous for being famous. And now with social media, we have people famous for being famous. So now being famous is even more desirable than it was. And then when I wrote the book, so you are going to get famous if you can't make someone on social media, read your blog or go to your Instagram or go to your Facebook page. You're not going to get famous by writing a letter to Brad Pitt because he's not going to answer you. But if you write a letter to the Boston Marathon bomber, he might answer you. So it's a very logical way to get famous. Was there anything that shocked you about these women? What shocked me is the huge numbers. How common it is, how these guys have women all over the place. Your notorious killers have groupies. And now with social media, every one of us gets involved emotionally with another person. We're doing it to fulfill our own psychological needs. And with the women I interviewed, they were all damaged goods. Basically, their needs were such that they couldn't really find satisfaction or get their needs met in a normal, healthy relationship. They had to find love behind the prison walls. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. That's what I'm saying. It's like there is reasons other than, so you know, some other reasons if that makes sense. There's, there is a group of type of people that do this. So they're just talking about like Ted Bundy, but I want to skip to this research part. One research study examined women of varying ages, ethnicities, education, employment status, who were in relationships with incarcerated men. While they weren't diagnosed with major mental illnesses or personal personality disorders, many came from difficult upbringings with a history of abuse. And notably, 90% had experienced dominant verbally abusive prior marriages. Some may be sexually aroused by being with a partner convicted of a severe crime, such as or murder or armed robbery then it goes on to that his whatever <laughs> my mouth is so tired i can't say those words but american psychiatry di diagnosed oh man diagnostic system dsm-5 notes that this condition may interfere with the establishment of normal sexual relationships many meet their partner via online pen pal sites such as canadian inmates connect so Melissa Fazzini, the site creator and founder, spoke with Trauma and Mental Health Report to provide insight as to why women choose such relationships. These women just want to offer support to people that do not have a connection to the out outside world. Inmates have nothing but time. You really get to know that person because you talk about everything and anything. This is what makes these relationships strong. You can still have a relationship, but you don't have to be as committed in terms of cooking dinner every night, going to family functions, pain heals pain. The, they feel special because they are the one. Julie met her partner, Bill, through Canadian inmates. Bill's a convicted murderer, serving 25-year sentence. Julie had been through prison system herself and knows the loneliness it brings. She made her selection based on two criteria. Bill was in it for a long time, so he would not come out. And the jail was far, so, he could not, so she could not visit. Julie describes her childhood in a small town. There has been no violence, no alcohol abuse, no drug abuse. I am educated, currently completing a university degree, and I own my own business and solely take care of my children. I don't think my partner's sentence is who he is. He just 
got caught up in something. He is loyal and hardworking. He has dreams and aspirations and he is strong enough to want to change his future and get out and do something with his life. So now we have a psychologist that's been in the prison system for 28 years. And in an interview, he explains why some women choose inc incarcerated men. There are different types of women that could be interested in this type of relationship. This is a very high nurturing type who feels they can save someone. Then there's a type who wants someone who is considered tough, rough, and manly because this gives the illusion that they could protect them. Third, there's a rebellious type that are unhappy and angry and who live a vicarious rebelliousness through this experience. I want people to understand that the stigma about women who are in relationships with inmates that they are unstable or crazy is not true. People ask me, how can you fall in love with someone you have never been, have you have never seen in person? To that I say, what is the biggest success indicator of a relationship? Communication. I talk to him for many hours on the phone. I know how he feels. I can hear it in his voice. When is he when he is happy, sad, or whatever feeling? I compare this to a long distance relationship. It's no different. What can be incomprehensible to many may be alluring to others. How cool. What do you guys think? Isn't that good? How quick? She did that in like a day. How do you even do that that quick? What do you guys think? I like it. I think it's cool. I just like the style. It's like definitely my style. I know. Isn't that for you're good, Sarah? Like one, I mean, it took you like a day. How do you do that? Like, and it's exactly, it's like perfect. Like the creativity part of it is really cool. Like I don't, I would, did, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to think how, you know, she's going like this and then inside of it. And then the, ah, it's really cool. I know. Doesn't it? Yeah. I am happy. Look, everybody loves it, Sarah. Oh, wait, where's your comment? Oh, because I was putting up other comments. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's awesome. Would you guys wear it, would buy merch with it on it? Okay, so would you want like one with it? Because what I'll do is, so make it where, hopefully I'll be able to do this when I put it on. Because I think we should make it so there's no, the you know, the white, it's like cut, what is that called? Not cut out. Like not a white square. But like, it just goes on the shirt with that. So hopefully I'll be able to get it right, Sarah. Do you know what I'm talking about? With the white taken out, like the square part, right? Transparent, yeah. Put it on there. Um. So do I put it big on the shirt, you think? So maybe I could do... Oh, okay, cool, Sarah. Maybe I could do um some with it on the front, some with it on the back, depending on the custom, maybe. And then maybe I can do some with like whatever that's on the front of the back have something else on the front of the back or what do you guys think like for hoodies i want it like right there like above you know how the hoodies have like the pocket right here but you know right here is where you i would want it like right here on the hoodie like the yeah like right there um but then i i also would think maybe for some t-shirts could put that on the back and maybe something like i don't know this is tricky because you don't really need any two things, but if we want something on the front and back. Hold on, let me think here. I'm trying to think if, like, even if some of this goes on the back on some of them, and then what we could have on the front. This she just, like, put on the shirt to show how it would look. I like it. And more, like, on the corner for this one. Yeah, I mean, we could do some with it on the back, too, but then we need something to find it on the front. But I want some on the front, too. So, like I said, usually what it is is they'll have a bunch of different styles of shirts, and you could pick each style. You could put some, you know, how you want it. So, um, so yeah. So, now all we need, Sarah, if you even want to help with that, too, is the ones that we do put it on the bag, if what we could put on the front. I guess we have to. we'd have to give you an idea. <laughs> Oh, oh help us guys so the ones that want it on the back what would you want on the front what's another wait so something that kind of still relates to this this all this stuff right baby girl i don't know that's too much i don't know if that's i don't know if that's too 
I mean, it would make you laugh, but like, first of all, I don't know if guys would get well. Like, I don't know. Yeah, guy. Well, guys could just get the other version. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or we could even do a version like this. You're right. We could do something like that, too. We have a few different styles. I don't know, Sarah, if that's like, like, where we could do one where the peeping ears, but then the. Or the opposite, even one with the Zavgirl and then the peeping ears on the back with the two ears like this. We could. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about... But I want. I kind of want a few different ones. So I like this. I definitely want this. And just have some on the front. And then also ones maybe with just the peeping ears and then the Zav girl somewhere. But I'm also liking having this with the Zav girl somewhere on it, right? And then the peeping ears being... Saying peeping ears with like somehow the ears with the... <laughs> like, I don't know. Something like that. Hold on. Just for another option. But I like this too, Sarah. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to definitely put these and then this. I like this right here for a hoodie. I'm, oh, I can't wait to wear it. But uh, just for ones that people want it on the back and then maybe something on the front. Oh, yeah. I got to see if Spread Shop has the doggy stuff. So Teespring used to have the doggy hoodies. And when they did, I got one for Zeke. I actually have videos of him wearing it. Actually, on here, look, I want to show you something. I'll show you the actual hoodie too, but I want to show you something. This is him wearing it. This is actually him wearing it right here. It's kind of small. <laughs> He's wearing it. I took a picture and cut it out. So he so cute. I have some I do. I have some videos and pictures. I'll have to do it for members or play it even here sometime. Um hold on, let me show you his little dog hoodie that they had dog stuff, and then um, when the Zeking just it was the Zeking Justice, the actual dog themed one came out. They stopped making the dog ones, and everybody was like trying to order it for their dogs, and they took it off the Teespring. I don't know if they put it back, but I was so mad because people have dogs and they wanted it. Hold on, let me show you. <laughs> it's so little because he's so little. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is. This is my first design. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm just picturing it in a minute. Now I'm gonna go squeeze that little guy. So freaking cute. I can't take it. He's so cute. He was so excited to see me this morning because I barely got to see him yesterday. He went nuts when I came down and he was like shaking. He couldn't take it. He was hyperventilating almost like not really, but he's like wiggling and running all over. And then when I he was laying down because I was petting on his tummy, he likes to but he was so excited that he was like because I barely saw him yesterday. He was missing me so freaking much. I love him. Okay. His little... His little paws. Oh my god, he looks so cute in it. It's my old... Oh, you can see through the green parts. Because it's green around here. So it's picking up green in that. And then when it's pink, look. But all the see-through parts is green, but it's like, so it has a little hoodie, his little collar, go, his little um, hole. It's so He's so cute in it. He's adorable. Next time, you guys, remind me to put it on him. I love that boy. I love him so much. My boy. That's my boy. You know what? I should hang this up. Can't take him. He's seriously the cutest boy ever. Okay. He's the most lovable guy. I got to freaking cuddle him up yesterday. Last night I slept with him. Oh my lord. I stole him. I went downstairs and stole him. It was my night though. I skipped my night two nights in a row. And I'm like, I'm getting him. I don't care how late it is. Cool, Sarah. Well, I love your style. You're good at what you do. So yeah, we'll have a little... We'll work together with this stuff. Thank you. I love I love it so far. I love that. Yeah. Oh, what can we we'll chat chat about it? And then I'll I'll have to get on um what did I say it was called? This whole time I've known it and see that's how tired and uh spread shop. 
I know. I was so mad. I was so excited when I made the Zekin Justice design. I was like, the dogs for the dogs and for Zeke. And they didn't have that option by the time I made that. I was so freaking mad. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I might do a dog-themed one now. I wanted to get Zeke one. Other dogs, people's dogs, wanted one. <laughs> other humans wanted one for their dogs. And then it was not available. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You guys saw the pants, right? Of the Zeke and Justice. So the Zeke and Justice, is that up anymore? I don't even know. I thought they took the... They took that one down, I think. But it was up for a little bit, and I had a bunch of stuff. But look at these pants. So anyway, well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, Yeah, I'll get to the uh, text messages request. Just redo it. I'm sorry. I just had it. I was just so mad. I'm like, I thought I'd be a little ornery. I was like, whatever. <laughs> but I just, I knew that you guys could just request it again. I was like, I just had this moment. I'm like, they'll just request it again. It takes like a second. Because I get a lot of triple requests, double requests for it. Um, these nail clippers. Does anybody have like these for toenail? I thought I'd try them for toenail clippers. Dude, I don't like them. They freaking, it's hard to do it. Like get them. I cut, like I made my toe bleed. And I barely even cut anything. I don't understand what happened. It's like. It doesn't even look like you're cutting anything and then it blood like it cut something. <laughs> Explain it. I know that doesn't make much sense, but it's like they're so sharp and it doesn't look like you're cutting. And then you are. And yeah, yesterday, last night, my toe was bleeding and it hurts. And I didn't even think it didn't even look like I would cut anything that would bleed. I don't get it. I don't trust these. The last time I used these, I didn't use them for like I would say almost like five months or whatever. I had had him. I think I got him like last year. And I was like, the first time I used it, I did the same thing. I like cut my toe. It's like, screw that, dude. No, it's their toenail cutters. They're at, go look. And there's a certain style of toenail cutter. See, actually my roommate in college used to have these. And, oh, I just saw something. And um, and growing up, like I never seen these for toenail clip clippers or whatever, and I always remember that. I'm like, that's interesting, huh? I never used them growing up, and then I saw them in the store. I always wanted to try them, and no, they're overrated because they're hard, they're tricky. But yeah, they're definitely toenail clippers. <laughs> they you know they look. Like <laughs> Wait a minute, you're right. They look like these pliers, or they look. Yeah, they don't look right, but they. <laughs> They said toenail clippers, and I remember she had a pair that was like this too. <laughs> I know they do look like wire wire cutters. What if I read it wrong? I'm close. That's why I'm cutting my toes all up <laughs> accident because I think they're toenail. <laughs> but she had ones that look just like this though, and they were in that aisle. They have to be. I could have mistaken something for toenail clippers that what else would they be i wish i had the uh packaging for it still so i could see what if i had one of those stupid moments and i was somehow i got i thought it said that no tanya they don't. The problem is, is the second time I tried them, and each time it made me self bleed. <laughs> oh my god! In the wrong aisle. Cuticle trimmers. How? Those they look too big for a cuticle trimmer. How do you? Look, the thing right here is like, I don't know. They're really sharp. Look. <laughs> they do they look like hedge clippers or like <laughs> Edward Scissorhands. Like, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm done. They are sharp. They're like razors. 
Yeah, no more for me. I tried it twice. I gave it a second try. Nope. No more blood. Anyway. Yeah, I don't have thick nails at all either. I don't know. Maybe they are for Tony. Because I've seen people that have like those really thick. And that's fine. I mean, people do. It's not a big deal. Um, But they have like those really thick, hard toenails. My grandma does. I think when you actually, when you get older, you, maybe you have more of a chance to get it. My grandma Mary's look really thick and hard. Mine aren't though, but maybe that maybe they are better for, for those. You know what that always makes me think of is uh, um, Dumb and Dumber <laughs> when he's got the he's got this. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The movie when he's got like the saw out. <laughs> oh my god! No, don't. I would not be good. I would be too nervous. I don't know. I feel like I used to have like a really steady hand. I would be good at, but maybe it's just when I do stuff for my like myself. Like if I'm clipping my nails, I really I don't know. I mean, I mean, uh, unless if now I am getting like more. Yeah, my toe still hurts too. It sucks. I hope I didn't get it. I hope it didn't get infected or something. Man, it's all red. Anyway. The grinder, yes. No. I don't think I have any. I need to go to the store and get some things, though. Keep, I've been putting that off. I need shampoo. Because the shampoo I have, I don't... I'm not liking it. I mean, I still have some other shampoo, too. But I like to switch it up and do different kinds. So I just need a, some a different speci specific kind. Uh, that one shampoo. What was it? From a zoo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, knocked out a girl doing it. <laughs> oh my god. Doing it with a UFC spell. Knee reflex felt so bad. I left her. <laughs> god, oh my god. That's cracking me up. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's how I am. That's funny. And I need a now. I need another one. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you reached out with the art stuff. That's awesome. Hey, Aussie True Crime. What's up, hey, Julie? Oh, it's just me. I've been told that actually. Julia used to get a kick out of me. That was that reminds me because there was a we did that trivia, you know, like relationship trivia or whatever, where they, uh, you know, yeah, you, you answer questions about the other person or whatever, or who would, you know, just different types of because the one was like who would do this or whatever, and um, the one was uh about making people laugh or something, and she's more like she was more like comedian and would tell a joke or say something purposely to be funny you know and she was good at it she was funny but so we she's like well but you like me i'm funny and i don't try to be funny because i'm funny not because i'm trying to be funny i'm just funny because i do i guess stupid things not stupid but you know what i mean not like stuff that would be normally like supposed to be funny but it is and i don't even realize i'm like it's funny but yeah but you should check it out it's on her channel she's a channel i don't think she's posted <sighs> oh, i don't think she's posted in a while but um we did that there's like part i think there's two parts when we were together we did like you know she did the question she picked the questions and then we answered them um Oh yay, Brittany! <laughs> I'm glad it cracks you up. It annoys some people, but I'm glad some people like it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Abellus. Yeah. I know, I'm a nice guy, I can't help it. Oh, why are you in a wheelchair, Scott? But yeah, I shall invent a invent sit-down comedy. Yeah, you should. Okay, you're super funny and make insensitive jokes or I'm quiet. There's no in-between. 
That's kind of like how she was, I would say, in a way. Huh. Yeah. Aw, thanks, Scott. So, tomorrow I might possibly... Oh, well, thanks, Ashley. I might possibly do that Sebastian Rogers one. I mean, how many would you would be interested in watching it? You know, would it just be like, we'll just find whatever's out there. Just different things, interviews, or different things that's out there. I mean, it might be old stuff, you know, but it would just be like a compilation of stuff. Because I haven't seen much. I've only seen the Nancy Grace thing. So we could watch more of Nancy Grace and just like, all right, I'm going to go. Bye, guys. Have a good one.